everybody. It is Collider Live. That's right. The first, the very first show, Collider Live. It's happening. We've been talking about it for a very long time, and it is here. It is the day. I am Christian Harloff, and this is our show here, Collider Live. You want to watch us live? You can do that on video right now on Collider Videos. Or guess what? We already have a podcast feed. It is available right now. If you go into this description of the video or you check out Collider Live on Apple Podcasts, that's it. Christian Harloff here, and what a crew I have uh, joining me today. Uh, first and foremost, I have to, I have to talk about the beauty in the room. I can't, I can't do it right away with the everything else. Like Mark Ellis here. Thank Sorry, you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Mark hey. Ellis, nice to see We're you. We're back, man. buddy. We're back. It's happening again. Look at this. We're doing it again. This, it does Look feel old this. school, doesn't it? <laughs> what a battle of the alphas. You brought your chalice. Look I brought my 32-ounce coffee <laughs> bean iced yeah. tea. Who's going to win today? I don't know who's going to win. we got a lot of shit to talk about. What I'll is the that. logic behind the chalice? Do you honestly... Yeah, do you feel like a king? Is this going to translate no. into other parts of the office? Like, is there a throne? You know, no, it, I don't know what it is. It's a stupid thing. When I drink this, uh, this sparkle, the, the LaCroix, I, I have to drink it in a glass. Like, out of a can, I can't do it. I understand everybody's hatred for it out of the can. I can't do it. I got to tell you what. I oh. Thank you for uh, the lovely evening I spent at your house last night. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, um, yeah. I didn't realize that LaCroix translated to the rest of your family. Vivian so wants it, my daughter. Every yeah. five minutes, yeah. it's like I would walk through the house. Be, Mark, you want a LaCroix? You sure you don't want a fizzy <laughs> it's water? Like we own it. It's like Snyder in the candy business. It's like we own it. Yeah, yeah I it's felt like, it, it's like it's like it's like Slugworth all over the place, just whispering it's in true. my ear, offering me treats. It's just when I found out all this stuff about it, it's just, I, and I drink this stuff religiously. I'm just going to have it here. I'm going to, ha- and it's this chalice is amazing. So, look, it, there's a lot we're going to talk about today, and I have a crew, and I'm excited to announce the crew that I have. On the co-host seat today, she is here. I am so excited to have her. We've been talking about doing this now for months. Roxy Stryer is here. Hello, Hello. Roxy. I've never had LaCroix. Am I going to get kicked off the show? I've never had it before. Or? No, you're going to have you're going to be forced to drink it, though. I'll tell you that. Okay. Can, can I, I tell you something? You, drink. you have had LaCroix. It's sparkling water. It's got a little bit of flavor to it. It's all the kids think it's the rage. It's nothing new. It's nothing fancy. There's no alcohol content. Yeah. It's useless. Well, to, to <laughs> let people know that you know this is not the PG rated it's show. It's fucking useless. Good. Fuck off yeah. because yeah. I love it. Okay. Um, and now we get there's the cop, cop and flop and flop flop. Producer of the, yeah. the show is here. Nice to see you. Ladies Thanks, and gentlemen. We gotta see your face. Okay, you gotta see her. Oh, that is the, the first guy. first technical assistance right. that Copster has provided. The first of who's keeping score at home. Oh, there's gonna be a lot because he told us. Listen, he told us when he was out there. We had the meeting, and he and he, and Roxy did the voice. Roxy, you wanted, how did how did Copster do the do the announcement? All of you uh, will remain in uh, the seats at all times and keep your arms in the vehicle <laughs> before takeoff. He really pretty much did say that though. He was he was saying along the lines of uh, "Love you, man." Yeah, I want to make sure <laughs> that everybody looks have a good time. But uh, there's gonna be mess ups. There's gonna be things that happen. So just to be prepared. He kind of stole my line because yeah. I've given that speech before too, where it's like, hey guys, not everything's going to go perfect. Right. I did it the first live show. I stole it from, uh, at that point, college basketball coach Brad Stevens right. when I saw him give a pregame speech to Butler before they played against Duke. And he's like, look guys, not everything's going to go perfect, and that's okay because we're a good enough team to recover. I don't know if I can say that about this particular not yet. crew. Not yet. But I believe in you, and I believe right. in Roxy. we got to earn it. Well, someone oh else gosh. that I do believe in, and I'm going to make, there's going to be two announcements I'm going to make on the show today. And the first is not only returning to this type of show, yeah. but returning to the Collider staff. Uh-oh. That's right. He's back on staff. Oh boy. He's on staff. It's Josh McCougar. Yeah. He's back. We got him back. Hey. Yeah. You know, uh, it feels great to be back, guys. I played a lot. It was the summer of George this summer, yeah. mostly. What were you doing? A uh, lot of golf. <laughs> a lot uh, of jet skiing. A lo- lot of uh, traveling with the lady. He uh, is so tan. He is. I, uh, yeah, I, I got my, ta- my Italian gleam back. Uh, can't wait to get pasty and white again with yeah. all of you guys. <laughs> Excited to Thanks, be ali- on a live show with you jerks again. This is a blast. And uh, I think you guys missed Cobster's line was, if he dies, he dies. It was right. basically what he said. He this was supposed to be an exhibition. <laughs> it was supposed to be, but it's not. Josh McCook yeah. is back. We Thank you, buddy. To Excited about. to be back. I'm very happy to I got to tell you, so I'm, I'm already not thrilled with this arrangement. Why? Because he's sitting on, <laughs> your, on your shoulder? It, well, it's kind of like from the Toad Hop days when yeah. we were doing Schmoes. No, like, I, feel like, I feel like I've stayed in my same role. And I feel like Josh got promoted yep. right. because he used to be behind me, and he was now like he's on your lap, sweeter. Yeah. And now, yeah, it's like he's telling me what he wants for Christmas, and he's got his own microphone, yep. which, I, which we never approved. Well, he's not going to have it for much longer because I need him to pass it along. <laughs> um, it's been great, guys. We'll it's see you in great. two hours. Josh McCook is going to be in your seat though, because Mark Ellis will be here on Mondays. Uh, we are doing this show Monday. Oh wait, wait, I'm locked in. <laughs> 
Wait Mondays? A wait a minute. Yeah, you're locked in. Wait, yeah. I, I, I said at least one day a week. Oh, so you might just move around whenever you want. Because you're the host of Movie Talk, and you can do that now. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, yes, it airs at 4 p.m. PST. Right. But we're not here to talk <laughs> about Movie Talk. We're just here to talk about what the scheduling is going to be. Right. I'm going to show up as much as humanly possible. So once every three months. Yes. Right, okay. Perfect. When I have something to promote. <laughs> I will say, even though yeah. I'm back uh, officially on staff, I will never be allowed back on Movie Talk, so you guys are Right, well, we have other things for you to do. Um, and we're going to be doing, like I said, we're going to be doing the show Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's uh, from 10 to 12 p.m. Lots of different things we're going to be talking about, covering. There's going to be this kind of banter. There's going to be movie news. There's going to be TV news. There's going to be just topics in general that we come up with that might not be it's a one fucking movie on this whole uh, But show. let me ask Roxy a question. Oh. Now, Roxy, what do you got? I, I have a feeling you're going to be around these parts uh, a fair amount. Like myself, when you, when you have something you want to talk about, you'll come in. When it benefits me, you mean, <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. When it, it benefits <laughs> you and me, we'll just show up together. Cool, cool. Uh, do you think that, uh, that Christian George Harloff over here can really handle running a two hour? This isn't like a live event, this isn't NPR. This right. isn't. No. Come back to Needful Have things. you ever mm -hmm. known me to be like that? But. Dude, six hours yeah. of broadcasting right. on top of all your other duties. I don't duties do anything here. That's else. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, I was ready for you to set me up so that I could like slam somebody down, but I can't because it's Christian and he's gonna kill it. Like I want to make fun of the person that's gonna do it, but you threw me such a hardball. He's gonna be amazing at it. I've watched him do it year after year. But I guess it's a good thing Thad Williams is now the commissioner of the Schmodown, so you don't yeah. have to worry about yeah. anything going I don't on. Don't worry about anymore. that. No. This is like your wheelhouse. This, this is, is what your I jam. I've always wanted to do this. I, I wanted know. to do. I mean, this is gonna be like this is like our morning show. We've wanted to do a morning show for a long time, and this is gonna be our morning show. And that's the what? What do you got? No. Right, what? Yeah. The original Schmoes was a morning show. It was show. a morning show, yeah. yeah. Well, Mark and That's I, when I was, tw yeah. was tweeting in with old Cospan, yes. a.k.a. Ken Napsack. How Ken, yeah. That's how Ken be. <laughs> Ken's <laughs> first Twitter <laughs> handle was Cospan. Cospan. Which yeah. is Napsack right. backwards. Yeah, it's like, clever. That was, and that's like the least clever thing he's ever done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I a remember Ken hand. giving me the, uh, the, the, the like, social media across all platforms, the branding speech. Because I was like, L's 5151 place. Right. Then I had to go to 5150L somewhere else. And then he's giving me the speech. Two weeks later, he changes from Cospan to Ken Napsack. And he I did. believe he is that across all social Ooh. media platforms. Yeah, we were trying to figure out Twitter and that stuff, too. Was, everybody had their little clever names and just like maybe I just put my name Ken Napsock and it worked out for him but lucky, um, lucky duck but Got his own name. Ken will be on the show for sure you're going to see a lot of favorites a lot of people there's people that you might want to see on the show that we even thought about too and that's why Dorian Parks right now is, is monitoring the Twitter Riley is monitoring the Twitter Hashtag Collider Live. Hashtag Collider Live as you're watching this show, after you're watching it, if you're listening to it in your car. And we're going to get all of your thoughts and, and suggestions. And that's what we want to do. We want to be interactive with you guys. And speaking of Mr. Mark Riley, we've got two producers on this show. Mark Riley is the other one. People got so pissed off Hi, during I know. that town hall, remember? <laughs> and it was like, because I said because I said Perry was going to be hosting movies. Like, oh, they're firing Riley. Yeah, I was fired for a hot 10 minutes, and I told Ellis, because he's like, send me some tweets, send me some yeah. whatever. And I'm like, you might want to tell them I'm still fine. <laughs> right. Because that, but it, it was great that you said that because I felt very loved. You everybody did. thought I was fired and everybody right. was mad and they were like, I'm going to boycott Collider for at least five minutes. Right. And so, yeah, it was very nice. Thank well, you. good. So after <laughs> after one week on the show, do you wish you would have stuck with the first case? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, after today, I yeah. really wish I would have stuck with movie talk. Yeah, yeah. I was I not mean, This is ridiculous. <laughs> I, had a, I had a dream last night that. Uh, you have a lot of dreams about I have a lot of Okay, so do you first, really? Yeah, first dream I had about Riley, uh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He, he fell into an elevator. Or did you watch that Friends episode where they killed off Joey Tribbiani from uh, General Hospital? Dr. Whatever. Drake Ramore. Right, yeah. right, right. Right? Yes! No, Riley. Thank you, Roxy. Friends? Yes. Is that, you love that show? Oh, my God. Okay. This Friends, is, uh, yeah, Friends is arguably the best sitcom of the 90s if a show named wow. Seinfeld did not exist. Okay. With, that's with Thursday without. night. Let's hold it for TV talk. We'll, t we'll, we'll do some it's TV talk a little later. I will yeah. kick your ass. Sorry. Television set talk. TV cock. Thank you. Whatever that was. Who was that? Who said TV? That's Beardo cop? warming up. My Beardo, yeah, Beardo, you got to turn those sound clips up. Warming up the sound drops. And I should, I should actually announce that we have. You, you see all this crew here. If you're watching, you all see right. everybody here, but you don't, you don't see Beardo out there. Uh, you don't see Mr. Cody Hall. Who th these guys? Cody Hall, Comster, Alex. Yep. Uh, this team, RB3, is here today. This team has really gotten this studio into shape. They, and Thad Williams, th these guys have crushed it and got this thing ready. To go, uh, who's this? Oh, look at everybody. It's very nice to see everyone too. Oh, look. Um, Hi, oh look. Yeah, is, is that, is that going to happen good. every time? Every time I plug you guys, what the doors. A okay. Sexy group are we, of people. And we're going to leave the door open. Good. Roken had to get his 
face on. Wow, you're never going to talk about them ever again now. No, can we shut this door now? <laughs> this is what the show is. That was great. That was like that was like uh, it was Ghost like Kramer no coming in. Here yeah. to shut the door. Well, is that? Uh, no, you're not here. Okay, everybody. So if you listen, if you listen to <laughs> Afterthoughts, <laughs> great job, Brett. <laughs> if you listen to Afterthoughts on the Collider Movie Talk <laughs> podcast feed, um, then you know that all they've been talking about. On this show, if, you, if you've never watched Schmoes before, it's not you, it's not me. Not us. They All they're talking about, about is Brett Sheridan yep. returns. Brett Sheridan. Brett Sheridan is this guy. They said that Perry Nemiroff is the perfect example of what a Collider employee is right now. And they said Brett Sheridan is the exact opposite. <laughs> um, and here he is. Brett Sheridan is back. What's Dude. up, Brett? Do I get a talk now, Papa? Yeah. The, can, people <laughs> people who have no idea who you are, this Collider crew, who have never watched a Schmoes No Show, um, who are you and why are you here? Well, when I walked in, I could see the collective like fear of every, our job safe he's back you know <laughs> right. it's like you know oh no is he gonna mark you know uh, fernandez are we gonna take brett on the guy you've never been formally introduced to um <laughs> is he gonna be a full-time you know collider employee no Makuga is. Um, <laughs> no, it's great to be back. Uh, came came here, was super excited. Didn't get mentioned once in the pre-production <laughs> meeting. Uh, hey, go sit behind Roxy. You don't have headphones or a mic. So yeah, I mean, after a year of waiting for this, this is pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think when you walked into? Uh, this is your first time at the new digs. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of knocking on the other door and just really didn't know what to do. And finally called Mark and he let me in. But no, this is nice. No one it's, even gave you the real address, right? I noticed it's very bare in the walls. Don't have a lot of posters out there. Yeah, so nice. I'm guessing. Uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of work to do. That's why I was asked to bring my toolbox. Yeah. But um, no, it's great to be back. Can't wait <laughs> to read. Any any words to the afterthoughts, guys? Do you even uh, know who they are? It's Jason Smelling. He's on the oh, wall. Oh, no, I know. They're great. The, uh, you know, my mom kept saying, you should ask them to be on their show. I'm like, yeah, that's the sign of fame there is There's asking <laughs> that show asking some guys to be on there i oh. think they usually ask you they would want you trust me they're, they're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> want you on the show all right listen i, mean, I, Brent, Brent, I wasn't Brent. feeling bad enough I, i'm gonna hey would you guys have me on no. <laughs> you're not that he's not that hard to get in touch with i mean brett is no. active on social media oh, the, guy, yeah. the guy texts me every five minutes about movie codes because all he wants is movie codes he, 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 i'm telling me he, oh. doesn't want to, he doesn't want him on the show he just wants the movie oh codes. you're complaining yes about people texting you yeah what do i who do i From, text you text me I text you for every what? week. I get a text. You're lying for the Direct TV password. Well, that's sound true. familiar. That's true. For some that's Netflix, for some ESPN. Well, I lose it. I lose it a lot. Yeah, I know. And yeah. I get a text. Hey, oh, uh, what? you're complaining about a know. once a week text. That's From like him. a very, very Riley, low amount something? of text. Yeah, I already uh, dropped the ball on a uh, job duty. We have shirts. We need to announce that up top. We do. Collider Live shirts. It's going to be a link for Bonfire in yeah. the description. Right now, it's the first shirt. Look, this is the first shirt of many. Um, yes. Because I want to make a Jason Smelling shirt. I'll be honest with you, but I, but we're going to start with Collider Live, <laughs> um, and it's a it's a good shirt. The great Brian Ward does the, the does legend. the design. The legend. He has done. I mean, look, the artwork behind Mark right now for the for the upcoming live event. Brian Ward did. He does a lot of great art, and he has done the the logo for Collider Live. So check that out. But look, this is that's just banter up top. I think that it's very important to let people know. Um, what the show is all about. You gotta hit you gotta hit first topic with a very important things that are happening so they know that you can get you can talk about the serious stuff as much as you can goof around. So let's because I think believe this is gonna set kind of the motion when people know what this show is. <coughs> I shaved my balls for the first time in three months, uh, oh three months ago. God. Good and for you. I got I to gotta tell you, three months ago, and it, thank you, it is a process, man. Is this really happening? Yeah, yeah. it is a process. Like, I was talking to my wife about it. This was not in the show notes. Nah, I had to, I had to okay. tell you. Three, and I, I give you guys so much credit here on the shaving. Yeah. Th three days a week, or every, every three, four days, you guys are, I can't, how do you do this? Yeah, well. First of all. What? <laughs> first of all. Oh, oh, I'm okay. sorry. You, let, you let grow the back. You grow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The question. Okay. Do you do this? A man who has had to shave his entire body for swimming in high school, uh, shave his entire body just to go to pools and or beaches. Your body's making up for it now. It's, yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it's a process. It's a process. It is a process. But also, you're married. Yeah. Are you doing this for your wife? Or I you think a little bit of both. I think that it's for me is it's just like it's uncomfortable after a little bit. It's like, you know, it's like it's like a Well you can keep you can you don't have to do it every day. You no. can just maintain I, it was maintained, but getting think, married but think, means you, you don't, don't have to melt trim your, your balls, balls, Josh? It's not trimming no, though. I'm just, saying I was going I was going Yeah. All right. 
First yeah. of all, wait, fuck did you, you wax? Guys. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, I didn't. Yeah, fuck you guys, <laughs> because I had to go get waxed yesterday. Do you know what it's like to get a Brazilian wax? Is it brutal? Do you understand what yeah. that is at all? Because <laughs> Mark is not you guys a yes, are there like trimming your little ball hairs, and I'm there getting like everything out of me ripped away. And but guys, don't, you have, oh, no. don't you have a tolerance of pain now, though? I, for I, I've been getting waxed for 12 years. Right, so it doesn't even hurt years. anymore, right? Yeah, but I've gotten a little lazy, too. And oh. the longer you wait in between sessions, it's like motherfuckers. Right. The testicle area. Area is very sensitive. Uh, That's I like, a oh my god! Yes. It is, Roxy. I'm my go, I'm gonna... is not... I'll be this honest with you guys. I uh, I, I never really uh, attempted the stuff Ever? that you're talking. No, it's like a bushel down there. Um, <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> I always looked at it it's where if it's like men versus women grooming, we both want to maintain some semblance of playability down there. You're but be where nice to people. In golfing terms, uh, like where women have to keep it like Augusta National. Right. Like we're like a, like, like a, a public muni. muni. <laughs> it's like nine bucks to walk on. Yeah. And there's just gra- there's just well, shrubberies everywhere. It's not that bad. I'm telling you. I just my What fear, every woman wants to hear when she's going down there. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's hey. not that bad. Brutal. Yeah. Ooh. Look, it's uh, it's not an amusement park, you know. It's yeah. it, it's not something that, that that's well manicured. But I feel like in Christian's particular situation, he has a huge advantage because a he's married, so who cares? And b you have a wife who specializes in in, in like she waxing has two eyebrows. Kids. She and wants stuff. nothing to do with that. She, she, just, she just thinks I'm taking a long she's dump. A, she's a professional. <laughs> what? You didn't even tell her what you're doing in there. Well, afterwards, she's an expert. Right. That's like that's like being roommates with Elon Musk and not asking him how to launch. She's rockets. an expert, so she wants to work on my f- Neanderthal ass. No, no she yeah, no. I also like to point out that Christian said you're like a bushel down there. A bushel is a thing to carry things. It's actual apples, do, an, bushel. Uh, and bushel that doesn't actually have hair and right. or pubic hair in it. It'd just be a bush or a thorny bush or perhaps <laughs> a large shrubbery. I think he was trying to. All say those like a things are correct, bush. correct, but you got my fucking point. Okay. Uh, I think every single woman in the entire world hopes they marry somebody who is still after they're married trimming. Right. So good for it's you, like a Christian. fanny pack full That's of shit. All right, look, I'll take care of it and I'll post some good. pictures on Instagram. All right, fine. Brett, Brett, trimming? Brett, you are you're married. You, yeah. Oh, I am. You don't do any of these things. <laughs> I no, I've done it before. It's yeah. it's it's a, it's that, a process. It's a huge Just process, and I um I have rather large balls. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, so it's it is uh, and it's they. <laughs> That's that Omaha, you know. It and is. I'm older. Wouldn't that make like it And then they're falling. Yeah. So I mean, you really have to tighten them up <laughs> yeah. to do it. You know, it's a lot of you know because if you get, use the razor, the, yeah. the, the electric one, there's a lot of oh. nooks and crannies that can right. get. I've I've nicked a nook and cranny. All the time. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the problem is that you don't want to cut so those things. You're talking a, about. I'm telling you. How do balls bleed? A lot. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Too, it's it, it's like yeah. They're not very yeah. protected. It it's like God's a wrestler joke. head wound down yeah. there. Like I don't know where the nooks and crannies. Are you saying my scrotum is going to turn into an English muffin in like the next ten years? They already look like that. They're like Thanos's chin. Okay, first. Well, you haven't seen mine in at least three months. Four. Well, you know I take baths. I've brought this up before. You do? And when you 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 kind of squat down to get the bath water wet, ready, I've, I've actually touched touch tub before. It's like an anchor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's a little rough. Yeah. All right. So hashtag Collider Live, the important stuff. Do you shave your balls? All right. Here we go. Let's move on. Oh, um, we're done with that one? Yeah, we're done with that one. we got a lot of stuff to talk Brett, about. Very That's well good. Oh, yeah, beer. that was a hell of a conversation. I yeah. thought it was... I, listen, like I said, it's very important. And last night, though, I was telling Ellis that I might bring this up because he was over for, for dinner. Oh, and, God. But my mother-in-law yeah. was there. And my mother-in-law was like, what are you going to talk about? And I'm like, <laughs> ah, and I had to pull Ellis to the side and be, and tell him like I'm probably gonna bring this up. He's like, yeah, you should. And I was like, well, I'll be tuning in to listen. <laughs> she she didn't know what the hell I was gonna talk about. Hopefully, oh, she doesn't no. tune in to listen. But. I I will never pass up an opportunity to dine with your mother-in-law. Right. Uh, I love your kids to death. I got to tell you, I feel a little hungover today. Oh, and yeah, it's Vivi's, like Vivi. it, the the, like the energy output. Yeah. It's like man's times a hundred. It's so crazy. She had me doing exercises. Yeah. Then my personal trainer would be like, "Mark, you're not there yet." Right. She had me do this thing where I had to get down on <laughs> one leg and one hand and walk like that around the yard. And Christian sabotaged me because I was like, "Okay, okay, I'll do this with you, but you have to answer a trivia question." <laughs> and I was like, "What's my middle name?" And then Christian, first of all, Christian, a uh, fun fact, does not know my middle name. <laughs> I he, guessed it wrong the first time. He, he said it. it's David, right? I'm like, in no world has it ever been David. I was, thinking of, I was thinking of DJ. I don't even think that's his. I think that's his first name, too, so that was wrong also. It's, I told you, you figured out it's Edward once yeah. I gave you the E, and then, and then your 
daughter is like, okay, well, he got it, and he's a Harloff, so it counts as a win for me. So now she legit said that I got to walk around like yeah. that. I'm teaching your kid basketball. Yeah. A lot of game, by the way. Yeah. I'm telling you, okay. a lot of game. When you watch the, the, these tall. kids play rec league, not only does she have size, she can dribble. She was already doing the dribbling yeah. with the hand and looking at me, not looking at the ball. Good. So she's got a lot of potential. Yeah, good. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun to do, um, and it was good to have Mark over. And I will say, I'm going to switch to a serious note before we get into the next. Um, oh, well, okay. What, what part of your body no, are you this, shaving this, now? This is, a real, this, is a, this is a real serious note. Yes. So I did want to bring up because this is my first show back in a little bit too, um, and I'll you know I'll address it and other things too. I did have a, a, a tragedy happen in my family. My younger brother Kevin, who I loved more than anything in this world, passed away about uh, two weeks ago. Um, and I, what I will tell everybody here is that um, I. I have been very judgmental on the the internet and the way that the internet ha normally can um, can be an awful place sometimes. It, uh, it it proved me wrong over the last two weeks because the amount of support that I have got from fans, um, friends, uh, family, people that we've worked with have just has just been overwhelming and it's been it's been great. I, I've gotten so many texts and emails for people who are listening that are, are friends that I haven't had a chance to text back. I apologize. It was just kind of overwhelming. But as much as uh, as much as I break your chops, I will say this, and I've said this to people too. Um, Mark Ellis might be one of the best friends that I've ever had in my entire existence in this planet. He is a he is a good, genuine human being um, who you, and you're gonna crack a joke and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna make the same noise. You can crack a joke. He uh, he. St he everybody stepped up. All my friends stepped up, but Mark Ellis went above and beyond. Uh, my my family is indebted to him. This is uh, he is he. You're no longer a friend. You're one of my brothers too. So I thank you uh, very much for everything that you did for me and my family. I just wanted to send you to Florida. I didn't know you were gonna come back. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's true. But it was funny when when you were going to uh, to the airport during a very difficult time when you were heading yeah. back to Florida. You and I were talking on the phone about how you set up this GoFundMe and, yeah. and you were overwhelmed because you do have a disdain for a lot of internet commenters, and so to see the internet rear the good side of its face <laughs> and for your dad. <laughs> to be won over, my dad and be, my, like, and be like, "Hey, Christian, you got to tell these people." Well, my dad I didn't promise know. the yeah, money's yeah. going to. <laughs> like he thought that, that his son was setting up like some sort of like scam, and he wanted everybody to know that this is not a scam. Yeah, yeah, that that whole thing. Well, my mom, the same thing. She was really because my mom was, I mean, a rock through all this. Yeah, my, my mom was. Moms tend to do that. Just super tough, right? And so my mom was. I don't care what it costs. She slapped down her credit card, and I was like, she just couldn't do it. So right. and my brother, let's 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 do it. We did. Um, and again, we hit the goal for everybody in like, in like two days. And it was just, it was, it was great. My, my family, uh, appreciated it. So, but anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because I know it's been, people have been talking about it. So well, as I, I told your to, brother, when I talked to him on the phone, yeah. I said, and I, I said, give my best to, uh, to your parents from the drunk guy at Christian's wedding. And they all talked about it. My uncles talked about it. Uh, I was pretty yeah, hammered. Uh, my uncles, by the way, my, my, my dad and my <laughs> uncle Mark. Watching those two, it's like Waldorf and Statler, man. It is, it is really. Fun. You have an Uncle Mark. Yeah. All right. As an Uncle Mark, now, yeah. what, 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 what am I looking forward to in my future? Because I think I'm a pretty kick-ass uncle as of right now. I got a long way to go. Different, man. My Uncle Mark was a, he, more like Makuga. If Makuga went, would have went right off the deep end. That's my Uncle Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Does he live on a houseboat? Like the best version what? of uncles? No, he he was he was the guy in the he, my my Uncle Mark. I love, Willis in uh, striking distance yes, houseboat. Yes. Yeah, yeah. My Uncle Mark was the guy. Like you know, he he was an athlete and everything too. Like he and he would be. It's like they're playing like so softball was huge in Queens. Right, the oh, big yeah. softball leagues. And it's like, where's Mark? It's like f f a minute before game time. I mean, they put in the guy, the bum on the bench because Mark's not here. And then you just hear honking horns. But woo! Mark probably still hasn't slept in like three days. Playing Being stocky in arrival time. Yeah, something along those lines. But anyway, uh, that, it's, that's it's shocking that your dad, you know, living in Florida yeah. or being from New York, would be skeptical of an online money situation. Right. Just shocking because the entire state of Florida <laughs> is one online scam. It's the truth. <laughs> I know he, really he, lives, he lives there. What now. if I could tell you I could get you an Adele Boca Vista Phase Three, yeah, right, for one fifty nine a month. Yeah. Oh, Three oh, thousand a, a month in tax. Harold, well, these are cubic zirconiums. Yeah. I, I should buy three of them. That's right. Um, that's be because we have Makuga on the mic, let's just stick to the announcement number two here. Oh, um, Makuga is back, like we said. Oh. Makuga will be on. Makuga will be on the this? show quite See, often. Beardo oh, yeah, didn't that's, light me up. That's See that's what this is? Remember this? Thanks, Beardo. This should be automatic grounds for removal of Josh Makuga from any studio. He's yes. In. Right. Well, I can't believe the, that has survived moves. Yeah, that, well, yeah, I found right it now. in the back, and I was like, "Is, it, is this the infamous one? We got it. That's yeah. the one that almost took out uh, Jer dog. Jeremy Johns and Ellis." 
All right, so here's John, the announcement. You're an awful person. Hey, here's, young man. Yeah. Young man, drink some milk. That we're in the hospital. It's like he tried milk. We've tried everything. We're pa- I had ice cream. We're past milk. Yeah, people people who don't know what they're talking about. Mar- uh, Mark Ellis was, was almost taken out by that hot sauce right there. Did a shot of it. You can find, actually find the clip on. I, it's it's yeah. going to be on Collider Quick pretty soon. Yeah. Jeremy and I both. Yeah. All right, let's get to this. So okay. Josh McCuga is back. He's going to be on this show. The other thing. To let everybody know, and by the way, once again, reminding everyone to subscribe to this podcast feed here. You can do it on uh, Apple Podcasts. It might be available. link might be in the description. If not, it'll be available pretty soon. We're going to do a bunch of contests. But there's going to be another feed that you can find, and that is the TV Talk feed. TV <laughs> Talk is back. Uh, <laughs> TV <laughs> Talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, TV Talk's going to be back <laughs> in a different way here, too, because TV Talk, the video form, yeah. will be on the the podcast channel. Yep. So that if you're not subscribed to Collider's podcast channel, you go to uh, Collider Podcasts and you subscribe to that channel, the video will be on there. It'll be you and Thad Williams mm-hmm. hosting. And then there will be one episode that will basically be on the podcast feed as well, and that's going to be covering what? I mean, we're... Th- this version of TV talk will look a lot more like movie talk in a sense of like more news... Uh, pretty much, you know, a full news kind of a show. Uh, and then we'll we'll go in briefly on, like, certain shows we're loving right now and certain shows we're hating. But there is no possible way that we can watch everything, the, the inundation of content. So I'm just going to say what I like and what I don't like. And, I, you know, a lot of the stuff that we used to talk about, we probably won't talk about anymore. Uh, because... It didn't matter what shows we talked about. The numbers were always the friggin' same. Right. So You mean like reviews and correct. stuff? So it's more but like about news and, and recommendations yes, and things of that nature. Yeah, right. and the same kind of wildness. And, you know, we're going to bring on a lot of these same old faces. I know everybody's like, where's David Griffin? David Griffin now works at IGN. So I can't get him here for a show. It's a conflict of interest, but he's lovely. But we do have Roxy Stryer. She's amazing. She talks all yeah. things TV. We'll get Emma Fife back on. We'll get, you know, a lot of the same old things. <laughs> 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 points at Brett and just runs through. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but some of the bigger shows we will do full series reviews a lot of the things that I don't watch Roxy watches a lot of things and here's the thing you're like oh why Thad Thad Williams might know more about TV than myself Roxy, any other person that we had on TV Talk combined. The guy yeah. is an encyclopedia really lot, of yeah. TV knowledge, and the guy watches a lot. Not only that, but he knows a lot. He'll be like, oh, yeah, that's from the same writer and producer of this show that I've never heard of. And I was like, uh, and I would just nod yes and then have to Google what he said right. later. So he's very knowledgeable. He's also very funny, and he's one of my best buds in the world, and we've been working together forever. So uh, I think we're going to make an amazing show. Good and Instagram follow. That yeah. dog, yeah. Baxter, yeah. is whoa, well, what I, a dog. Yeah, no, but I, I think TV dog. Talk, though, you have, and that by doing that, one, once a week and people also realizing when you subscribe very similar to what movie talk does if yeah. you go to the movie talk feed you get five days of movie talk you get mailbag and get afterthoughts yes. right so with tv talk we're starting out with one episode of tv talk but for example like let's go let's say that you watched an entire the entire season of glow sure uh, right and then it's like, well, it did. yeah so and well, yeah and so let's say roxy's in here and say like, hey i just watched glow season two makuga said so did i they pop in they do a half an hour episode Goes on the feed, goes on the podcast channel. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of TV coverage now. There's the Afterthoughts guys are losing their minds. They're finally happy because it just doesn't, it doesn't pop on the main channel. No, but on, well, that's fine. It, on iTunes, excuse me, on, but on podcast yeah. though, TV hits, you know, TV hits on the, on the audio. People yeah. love it on audio. Yeah, and you know, I mean, in my kind of way, uh, I've been given sort of free reign to do a lot of bonus content on that channel. So if we want to do some just kind of off the wall kind of TV content that's just in, in podcast form once a month, like maybe a trivia show based around TV or something like that that I'm kind of crafting backstage, if because it couldn't exist on the main channel and we didn't right. even want to spend frontier. the time, it's a new frontier yeah. of what we can experience with it. TV talk. How happy it. are you not to just talk about superhero shows all day long? Correct. I, I, <laughs> that's, I do not watch any of them anymore, and right. I'm very very happy but about you, that. Situation. But and again, there are people that will come on. Show that I, we're I got talking. you. Correct. I got right. you. And is is, is he still? Is, is he like you? Where you guys are now both banned from movie talk? Um. Yes. <laughs> no more Makuga on movie talk ever again. It was a, a, a very different. Like you know, people actually really thought that you know Christian was actually really bad. <laughs> <from movie. laughs> I don't think. People like 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 they talk. I see them talking about it on Twitter, and then they include the link to the Harloff and Ellis show. Like, right. no, Ellis admits it right here right. that Harloff was banned. That's right, he's banned. The guy who's <laughs> the d- director of development, VP, VP of personnel, right. whatever the hell you are, is banned from I'm, movie talk. I'm like that JUCO football player. You know, he gets What'd banned from a, a junior college oh. football player. Oh. Right? I thought you were making fun of my people. Yeah, for don't, a second. don't do that. Oh, don't you do people that. Don't right off sports. Right <laughs> off the air. <laughs> JUCO, we're the Jewish company. How dare you? I get booted from a Division One program. I get booted from a D1 
three program, right. a Division one double A, and they're like, hey, listen, this junior college, if you have a pulse, they'll let you play. And I'm like, you know what? I'm still going to smoke a bunch of weed and ruin the show. No, I, I, I look at Makuga like John Favreau's character in The Replacements, yeah. where he's just this crazy linebacker, probably done time in jail, but you put him on the field, he's going to be a serviceable oh. option, and that's what I I love having Josh McCougan in the stable for movie talk for like uh, like those special pre taped shows for like holidays and stuff when we do all Twitter questions or we do summer blockbusters like that's a that's when you call in the wild thing. I'm the right. wildcat you are the wild the, the, the wild, wild man the wild berry man. everything yeah. um yeah all so you know what the other thing oh, oh God wild berries I forgot you know about the wild that. How you forget about the wild berries oh boy a big match coming yeah, up yeah they they are loud yeah they're loud <laughs> you know uh, I gotta buy. TV, t- listen. <laughs> I love you. TV, no, it's not about you. What do you got? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? What's wrong? Did Did I, you know what? Up? It's not. It's not the proper time to bring up the beef. I'll bring it up. What do you got? You got beef? Is it with me? Who you got beef with? Is it with me? No, no, no. Who you got beef with? You're looking at me like, like, like. No, it's not you. What's wrong? What the fuck's happening? What's I don't wrong? know. You got therapy? Nobody's looking at me. What's Say wrong? Well, you really said I thought he had beef with me because because we were supposed to go to a uh, to a concert yeah. on Friday, yeah, and and Thad and I were there, and we're looking around. We're like, where's Josh? And it was. It was uh, Saved by the 90s. We we're looking around. Oh. Like, where, where's McCooga? I felt like like Alex Keating's mom on the beach and Jaws. Right. Like, Josh? Jo- oh, God, oh wh- where is he? What's wrong with you? Yeah. I think he's I think he got beef with you. What's wrong with you? No, I, I don't have beef with any one person in yeah. particular. I have beef with the fact that the Wild Berries aren't in more matches in the Schmodown. I understand. Do you, know, do you understand how much real estate I have? You know, you're like Bibiani. Bibiani texts me every day. He wants to be in every fucking thing that we do. Bibiani has to be in everything. He wants to. It's like, oh, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna do yeah, a, a, a trivia contest about Bibiani. Everybody all that's loves not the true. Wild Stop Bears. that. That's not true. Bibiani. Yeah. Is I will say this: every time I announce a match with, with Bibiani and Emma Fife. They both get a lot yeah, of love than I've ever gotten yeah, on the yeah. desk. That's, so. what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bibiani just, is, and I love it. I love him for it because he wants to be involved in everything. You know, he wants to, he, he just, the desk, the post. He's everything. a gym rat. You he, want people he, like that. He absolutely, 100%. 100%. But, but you um, also need the circle. awesome dude that comes into the gym and he's yes. like, hey, it's Makuga. Bam, 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 right. bam, 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 bam. Who cares if he there's wins? Only so coca- there's only so much cocaine. There's only so much cocaine you can give the audience before they kill over and pass out. Show up to the concert because Christian's not giving you enough matches. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's if that's no, how you read that's that, great. No, you're right. It's come full circle because Matt so Williams, <laughs> the commissioner of the Schmodown, uh, and now Josh McCuka right. and his TV Got talk beef. co-host have an issue. Yep. And this is going to be ooh fire. This is I'm like an affair. You know, I want to find out something. Pass that mic to Brett real quick because I got to ask you a question. Um, before we get into... Uh, Brett, wake up! we got to yeah. work on that. Is it better yeah. if I go this way or that way for you, Hey, Brett? guys, Whatever. really, go, get your friends to watch this so we can get mics and headsets yeah. over here. This is really... This we're going really to we're gonna get the headsets. Yeah. We're going to get the headsets. Can we do, like, a little, like, I'm gonna be covered in dirt? You know, we're, they're working on Please getting headsets. headsets. My right. favorite Brett Sheridan moment is from the Schmoes No Live show in Phase 5, 6, was, uh, what, what was the 300 show we did, and we just had him sitting on the corner, <laughs> and he had the glasses on, and he looked like he was 90 years old. I forgot my just, cheaters. There was just a head in the corner laughing at that, That's him. That, yeah. and the, and the first, if you Google uh, Schmo's gift, yeah. the first thing that comes him. up is oh, him and RB3 on the couch, yeah, 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 and yeah. it just warms my, I could watch it over and over again. Uh, Brett, what the hell have you been doing with yourself? Because I think that was one of the things that, the uh, when I, again, when I was listening to the Afterthoughts, they were like, we just want to know what the hell... Uh, he's been doing. That's my voice for, for, uh, for Okay, for I don't think Jason Ryan and J- they are from it's, Kentucky, it's, it's, and I it's feel like, like that's like a Southern 100. stereotype. Oh, it's a total stereotype. <laughs> I'm gonna do it every single time. Do it. Uh, so, Brett, what have you been doing? Sobbing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I mean, just questioning why I followed my dreams and uh, <laughs> teaching my children not to follow their dreams, <laughs> and uh, you know, barely making rent. You know, it's good. things like that. I've got possible skin cancer. <laughs> um, How's the breathing though? Breathing's a little better. Yeah. It's almost good You're with the breathing. Weight. You're at a good weight been, right now. I've been drinking turmeric golden milk every morning. Oh, what's that? To, uh, it's a it's a uh, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Mm. Turmeric's good for everything. Just don't arthritis. get it on your clothes because it'll never come out. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the message, basically. Right. Don't follow your dreams. All right. It's good to see um, you. Again. Or dreams really do come true. Yeah. For some people. Right. Well, it's <laughs> not, that's how they should. Just not. Just not you. They're just you not know me. What? We're but I'm you... excited to be back. Uh, it was a little odd sitting behind Roxy. I feel. Yeah. I don't know if you feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm trying to show you love every couple of minutes. Yeah, like, I love it. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's good. But I don't yeah, know, the wide can... angle actually, you can see. It looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. See. All right. Enough of Brett. Um, <laughs> so I do. Mark Riley. Question. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, <laughs> movie, movie. There's also movie talk. On this network, but on this show. Yeah. Because on Friday, we do not have movie talk. No. Um, we have movie review talk, host, no. hosted by the great Scott Mance. And 
there's and a lot of movie news kind of happens during Fridays and over the weekends, and then we're going to be talking about some movie news on this show. We'll be talking about things that happen in in the world of movie news and other things that kind of pop topics. Riley, uh, you used to do all the the notes and stuff for movie until I was fired. Until you were fired, yeah, kicked and banned from the show. <laughs> there was yeah. a fifteen minute segment during the town hall we had I, where everybody thought Riley was <laughs> fired because we announced that Perry Nemiroff was the new right. showrunner yeah. of yeah. movie we, talk. We, and then then my favorite was when we <laughs> reintroduced <laughs> that at the top of the show, Where'd and everybody go? came right. back in here, you, not you, listening, of course, yeah. and went. Wait, oh. Riley's fired, and I'm literally sitting in yeah. front of you. We're, we're, and people are like, "What happened to Riley?" I'm are, like, "I'm are, right here." Are we redoing the whole show? See, this uh, is why. No, I just wanted to say that <laughs> we, we've been doing this for for 37 minutes now, yeah. and I'm, I, I can't do two hours. Mm. You can't, you, yeah. You're out. My, my, your 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 kids wore me out. Well, that's, both that's of them, because even the what baby, the baby do the, the baby. You got to be on high alert at all times. I'm bouncing around. My it was yeah. maybe the best I've ever been with a baby. Really? By the way, she was great. She, she was smiling yeah. kid. He, uh, she loves Van Halen. She was dancing she around. Was dancing jump, to Van Halen, and, uh, yeah. and it was and it was a good time. But it's just oh, You're exhausted. God. That's my life. Fuck off. All right. <laughs> so now, Riley. Yeah. News. Movie news. What do we got? Anything good? Anything Nothing. Nothing. There was no. There was shit news this past weekend. Yeah. But I will say this: Crazy Rich Asians yeah. went crazy at the box office. Nice. It I like did. what you did there. Nice work, Riley. Yeah. It. It beat. Good fun. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> it beat One more time? the Meg. Yeah. <laughs> it beat the Meg, but uh, the bigger bigger news there is the Meg is a bona fide hit. Yeah. It made 300 million worldwide, which is. Ridiculous, uh, like over yeah. 127 million in China alone, which, of course, that's kind of what they're going for yeah. uh, with shooting there. And then uh, Jason Statham comes out and says, "But I wanted it more R-rated." That's uh, that's really what he wanted. A lot of people. He was hoping well, for the a book, bloodbath. The book was was R-rated, there right? Was a book? Yeah. yeah, and then graphic novels. There's, there's multiple and, books. Yeah. And I'm disappointed yeah. that the Meg didn't do this. Yeah. The Meg book opens up with a Meg eating a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Is that true? That is very true. In her water? In, well, yeah. Yeah. well so and, the then fast, and then Rex fast forward. Turns, fast yeah, forward and then it fast right. forwards into no, it's modern Jurassic times. Park. <laughs> yeah, See, so like, shared universe, the Meg, yeah, Jurassic Park. I, I, originally, the Meg was going to be directed. There were like five different directors that were all at one time in Eli line Roth. to direct the Meg. It was Eli right. Roth was going to make an R-rated movie, but he wanted to play the Jason Statham role as well. Before Eli Roth, Guillermo del Toro was attached to this thing like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. So the Meg, like, I, I thought it could have been a lot better if it took itself more seriously. I don't care about the rating necessarily. How well did Crazy Rich Asians do across the pond? Uh, across in the international pond? Territories? Uh, Has me... it opened in China yet? I, I don't know. Let it's a fantastic movie if y'all haven't it. seen so it. I love it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Really I, wanna, I do want to see it. I've heard some great things about it. Um, and I'm sending your mother-in-law to see it. We'll see if she's it. Was that like the universal it. your mother in law or specific? No, 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 no. I think everybody's <laughs> mother in law would like it. My, my mother in law has me. very specific tastes. So it's just like you just don't know. What's that? It's like she likes there's certain things that she knows. Like she'll know. That's the one I want to see. She's and like we were talking about last time, my, my wife, oh, okay. and that's what I wanted to talk about with you, Makuga. I forgot was that um, my mother in law takes the affair, the movie, the, the TV, the TV show? show, as uh, as if it's real. She's like, don't spoil I'm it. Not, um, I'm not. Two I'm not. But it's like, yeah, so basically, she just say, you know, let's. Like, I wonder if they'll meet at the diner. <laughs> and it's like, because she's talking about it, like they're real people, you know, like the other things that are happening. It's like, I get that. And I, I'm convinced that she thinks that that Allison and uh, Noah are are, are are real. See. But, I uh, love that show, man. She's gonna she's gonna watch this movie. She's gonna fall in love with Henry Golding. Yeah. Uh, Henry Golding is the guy. After watching this movie, I, did you see it? Yeah. I could totally see that dude playing a new James Bond. Wow. Huh. So all right. So this movie, Crazy Rich, Rich Agents, did how much? Twenty five domestic. Twenty five domestic. And how much did it cost? Couldn't it cost that much, right? Uh, no, I don't think it cost that much. I mean, you got to get the rights of the book because it was a pretty popular novel. It's got a big cast. Uh, okay. A lot of familiar names like Ken Jeong pops right. out. Aquafina steals everything yeah. she's in. Uh, Michelle Yao's great in it. And speaking of James Bond movies, and I asked Riley a question, then he left the studio. Right. Yeah, yeah I, that, I had, that did happen. I had to do producer things. That's fine. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> All right, so and that, I'll come back. Did you find out how much it made internationally? Uh, internationally, it hasn't really opened yet. It made seven hundred thirty thousand overseas okay. right now. That is not uh, in China. That is, that is the, yeah, China. it's not in China. Yet, by so. the way, but the Meg. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Costa saying them. Yeah, this is me over here. Yeah. In the, in the the God Mike. Uh, yeah. yeah, producer things rarely comes out here. The stream died. The stream died. No, it didn't. It's fine. Oh, We're good. Oh, being angry? I can't fine. Hear, he's, so. being, he's being angry. He's being angry. But, okay. he's, ba no, he's, but, but he's basically, no, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on Copster's side here mm -hmm. for the side because Copster and those guys are on it. So mm -hmm. if they, it, 
you know, he, what he said outside, he said, yeah, if the stream know. dies, yeah. what he said to us beforehand, which I guess you weren't listening to, so I'm, I'm going to protect no. Copster here. I'm going to protect Copster. No, I know he, exactly what he, he said. He said, if the stream dies, if it dies, just keep going on just keep yeah. and being a professional. Cops and Riley, but you I acted as a fire setup. Wait, 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 wait. You don't want me to go outside no, and Riley, check? No, Riley, I 100% have you for a second because what? actually what happened yeah. was while Copster was giving his speech, yeah. Riley was being dead silent and... Everybody else was talking, and Copter goes, "Shut the fuck up, Riley!" Damn right. As he was the only one being quiet well, listening. Well, yeah, well, they're gonna yell at each other. That really did happen. All right, Thank so what, what, what I'm saying, leave, leave Copster alone and let More him produce out there. He's out. Studio. He's outside your inside. Okay, that's the, well, you're, yes, you're the producer but, in here. He's a but, producer. But still so, love you, So Copster. just for future reference, yeah. if the stream dies, I'll just sit here. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. got it. I mean, what are you What are you gonna do? Shut the fuck up, Riley. What are you giving the mic away? You're still doing the movie news. Stop it. Wait, I just I wanted to say something real quick about movie news. Yeah. On the flip of Crazy Rich Asians doing so well, Billionaire Boys Club made one hundred and twenty six dollars in its opening. What is that? Uh, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Right. Hundred and twenty six dollars. Now Roxy has dropped it himself from from wherever he is in Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Riley. All right. So we got that movie. Meg, though, how much has it made? Overall, so far, eighty-three point uh, eight million domestic. Okay, eighty-three, 83. 83. Right, and so then uh, three hundred uh, worldwide. Now it's worldwide. It's like three hundred. Stream million. dying is not on you, but what happened with the television? Now, why does it say no signal? Is mm-hmm. that you? That's well, see, that's on you. Okay, if it happens in the studio, if yeah. Riley's the in studio yeah. producer, Riley's I, don't, I, I can't have your back on this one now. Hey, right, look at you. there you are. All right. I, I'm not understanding with the Meg why it's making so much fucking money. I'm not. I'm not getting it. And Did you see it? Y- yeah, yeah, I saw it, and um, I I talked to the cast, and yeah. Jason was not particularly nice was to he me. Dishy? It, why is he? What, what happened? Uh, it I, was unusable. The really? The what happened? Tell us. I don't think he's ever nice. I want to know what happened. Well, here's the thing. I don't like anytime I meet somebody. <laughs> when you meet somebody once, you can't be like they're a bad dude right. because maybe they're having a bad day. I've heard some non-favorable things about him, yeah. so I was a little nervous going into it because I was like, "I've got a job to do, and they want me to play this extensive game." Yeah. Uh, and what was the game? It, we were trying to get him to talk to the Meg to talk it down oh. if the Meg could speak, and then we wanted him to speak as the Meg. It was a whole. F- and he wanted nothing to do with it. He straight up said, "You're trying to make me look like an idiot. I'm not going to play your f- games." Like Ooh. he straight up was like, but he, smiling through it and like right. cool as a cucumber, but would not participate. And uh, it was it was interesting. Uh, I could heard have just said no, thank you. Yeah, he did mm-hmm. not say that. Right. Um, and like a couple of different questions, he asked me. He's like, "Why? Are you, why are you asking me that?" I was like, well, I don't because understand that. He just seems like he but always Tommy has Lee to Jones be is like that a too. tough guy. Like, remember when we were doing the uh, the red carpet for Expendables? He was cool too? to you though. though. Uh, no. I, it, it, well, here's what happened. Yeah, is that he uh, he came up, and it, he came up really cool. Like he's just one of these guys. I think he always just wants to look like the coolest guy in the room. Yeah. Um, and so the red carpet happens. We see a lot of Stallone and Schwarzenegger and all these, all these, you know, actors that are in Expendables. They all come by, and everybody's like, "Okay, well, the red carpet's over." Ten minutes later, Statham <laughs> emerges to the red carpet, sunglasses on. Right. Remember that? And he's walking yeah, by. I can't yeah, remember yeah. the exact question. I think something I asked about him a something. priest or something. No, I, I was like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah," I was like, "Yeah, a priest, huh? <laughs> Wacky." No, not that. <laughs> it was. It was like <laughs> it was something about a priest. You're in a church in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Gee. What I asked him <laughs> was, "Hey, have you ever?" Have you ever? Uh, or, wow! <laughs> you know, like, coming in hot here on Collider Live episode one. He, he had, it was spotlight. We covered this. Yeah. Uh, if he felt weird beating the crap out of people in a church, and he, That's and, what it but he smiled because right. you know I'm right. great, and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, I never thought about that, mate. Right. But it was it was nice about it, but it was also like, take your sunglasses off. Right. Yeah. It's night. He right. takes everything very seriously. He said that to me in the actual interview. He was right. like, I don't play games. I don't mess around. I'm an actor. I'm a very serious actor, and I only take serious roles. How much would it cost? <laughs> how, yeah. Yeah. how much would it take for you to say what you just said to him to his face, though? I have, take your no, I have no issue doing that. You would tell him, take your sunglasses off, dude. It's night. You would tell for them. Free? For free? No for issue free? doing that. Yeah. You're full of shit. So next time we have. What a, do I have to lose? You, so I, next time we have a red carpet, what would and that he's even got a, sound like? And he's got a sunglass. He's got a sunglasses on. And we're yeah. Like, All right, say it, dude. Take your sunglasses off at night to Jason Statham's face. You think you 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 would say that? No problem. I would You're say I would say why the sunglasses. No, no I would. Right. Say, I, would I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't issue a command. Oh, that's different. 
why the sunglasses? Because he can then come up with a clever remark. I'm just curious, why the sunglasses? That's yeah. a nice question. Or Take your sunglasses off, dude. It's nighttime. Yeah, it's but that's different. meeting somebody with like aggression and hostility right, right. out of the bat. That's so what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, right. I, but I wouldn't do that in my Roka life would anyway. Do it. I don't think Roka I don't would think do it. So. I, I, I think Roka would. If you dared him to do it. I, I think Roka would let Jason Satham know that Roka's a voice actor yeah. and that if he needs anything <laughs> overdubbed, he's happy to come in the studio. I think that's what sure. Roka would do. I, uh, yeah. I, I think the, like, the way you would have done it was what I would have recommended, like you said, is like, why the sunglasses? Got a retinal problem or like scratch your cornea? Right. Something like goofily funny like, like you that. Did, like you did with Toby Maguire. Correct, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much... <laughs> I'm the greatest interviewer in the history of junkets. That is the best interview. Yeah, uh, Roxy, if, if you want tips on how to conduct junket interviews, watch or Josh Macuga. Apparently I need him because, oh, yeah. oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Watch him and Jake Gyllenhaal. I've never seen two men become better friends within the span of Did four you guys? Was Gyll- Gyllenhaal was awesome. Gyllenhaal was the best. Oh, yeah. it was good. Gyllenhaal yeah, was good? Gyllenhaal was great. Toby Maguire was terrible. All right. All right, so look, this is oh, another man. thing to let everybody know. Terrible. All right. So, same thing. <laughs> Make sure you hashtag Collider Live. Anything we've talked about thus far, uh, you want to chime in, you want any topics on movies or TV or anything in general you want us to talk about after the break. That's right. We break on this show, and we're going to be breaking twice, maybe once. Who the hell knows? We'll see what, what, where the conversation takes us. When we get back, the crew is going to talk about first crushes. That's right. First crush. It could be anything. It could be movie crush. It could be your first crush that you ever had when you were a kid. And that's the same thing with you guys. Hashtag Collider Live. Give me the name of your of your first crush. Mm. And we're going to talk about that when we get back. And, and I'm, giving, I'm giving away one of these. Giving away the Avengers. Giving away one of these. Giving away the I got Avengers. A show to announce. So tune in here, guys. When we get back, Mark L is going to talk about some of his shows. The whole crew. Collider Live. After the break. Hey everyone, thanks for taking a quick break from the program where I probably just said something stupid. I'm here to talk to you guys about the show that I get to host, Movie Talk. Collider Movie Talk, we talk about all the latest movie news stories that broke that day, the latest trailers, all the cool excitement about movies we love, movies we hate, and movies that we are excited to talk about, whether they're going to be good or bad. You can check it all out. 4 p.m. is when Movie Talk is on Monday through Thursday. It's me and two beloved panelists from the world of movies. They're experts. I put that in quotes because they're also just really good about talking about movies. Are their opinions great? Not usually, but that's why I'm here to wrangle it all in. Movie Talk, 4 p.m. We go through news stories, then we take your live Twitter questions. Tweet us anytime at Collider Video and use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk. I promise no more movie pass stories. Not more than once a month. Collider Movie Talk. Hello everyone, Perry here, and what I've got to do right now is remind you that Mailbag airs every Saturday and Sunday right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel and also in podcast form as well. Podcast One, iTunes, we are on the Movie Talk feed, and this is the show where we get to sit back and relax and discuss a whole variety of questions that you guys send in. You send them in on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, Mailbag at Collider.com. Send in those questions and maybe myself and my special guest for the week, that's what this blank spot is for, will answer your question right here on one of the shows. So don't forget, check out Collider Mailbag every Saturday and Sunday on the Collider Video YouTube channel. Welcome, Collider fans. In time, you will call me master and you should check out rule of two that's right the podcast i do on the collider jedi council podcast feed myself and mark fernandez every week dropping on wednesdays talk about star wars debate star wars sequels versus prequels the golden lightsabers the best of star wars it's a celebration of star wars as we know it and you can join me and mark fernandez on the collider jedi council podcast feed every wednesday check it there and don't use a force, come to the dark side. Hi there, I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games, we talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I'm joined 
by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun. It is infectious. It is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, only on Collider Video. Hey, Collider fans, Mark Riley here. You might remember me from such movie trivia matches as Yodi. You might remember me from Transformer Rants, but now I have my own show called The Riley Roundtable. You can see it every Thursday on the Collider Podcast YouTube video channel, as well as hear it on the Collider Podcast One factory feed. That's right, The Riley Roundtable drops every Thursday on the Collider Podcast One factory feed. You can see me there, special guests, special people, special everything. We talk about movies, we talk about life, we talk about movies and life, and everything in between. The Riley Roundtable, every Thursday, check it there. All right, I believe we're back. Because Riley shut the door on Cody when he was giving me uh, the uh, the signal, and he... you're good. All right, thank you. The up uh, the up <laughs> theme plays, and we are back on Collider Live here. If you're just tuning in, welcome. If you're just not tuning in, and you've been watching since the beginning. Welcome back. Hashtag Collider Live. I've seen a lot of great tweets so far from all you guys. Thank you for doing that. Make sure that you once again make sure you subscribe to not only our podcast feed, which is going to be the Collider Live podcast feed, but all the other great shows that we have here, too, whether it's Collider Jedi Council or if it's Movie Talk or we're going to have TV Talk, there's a sports channel now. There's a gaming channel. We are doing it all here on Collider, and we hope you guys are joining along. Everybody's getting involved. Yeah. Equally as important, yes. though, because I've been thinking about this a lot, yeah. and there is so much great stuff going on, and it's just, I, but there's one thing that we talked about I, that I just really can't. I have to ask, when you nick your balls, yeah. does it squirt out blood or no, does it kind of like dribble? That's disgusting. Because, no, I've been. I don't have balls of my own. And I really try. I it's try just to a nick. It. It's like you know, I don't have so, balls of my but own. But it's, it's you scrape. You know, you you cut your face and you know, it's a little bit of a cut. It's not like a shooting situation. It hurt, doesn't feel good. What are you doing? I thought you were going to example. Oh, all right. Yeah, uh, Makuga's going to get the mic. And Brett's leaving. Because he has Everybody's a lot leaving. to say you about must, You th- must went face first in the thing. No. What if you, like, it's, it's, squeeze the ball? Would it... Psh- that is something I don't even want to think about. Why would I do that? No, it's it's it's, it's like it's like if you're cut, it. when you're shaving your leg and you get a little nick, it's like that. It's just, it's easier to happen to us. Here's what happens, mm. okay, is there is a process, especially when you, let's just say you're at an Ellis level of, of hairiness, right? You don't know something. what it's like. I, I, all I said is that I, I don't shave down there. You don't know what it looks like like originally, so it might just be a pristine situation. I feel like it's a palm I've tree. Seen your chest hair before. It's like or uh, sideshow Bob. One coconut <laughs> falls out of my shorts, and yeah. you judge me forever. Forever. It is. You it blow is, one. It, go. Is, it is probably a disaster. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> thing, it's probably it's a good thing you don't want to get married. I'll tell you that. Um, the, the problem is, is that you can't go just straight razor on. If you go straight razor on, it's fine. I did it. That's what I did. It. Yeah, but that's if you did. try clippers, it will just jack it up, and well, then it's you gotta, all bloody. That's everywhere. where the initial. Well, the clippers is where the initial. It's hard. It's really tough. It's all. Bloody everywhere. Because right, if you right, hit it, well, let's, sorry. Let's, let's move on. Um, Collider Live. But that's it. Collider Live. Welcome back <laughs> to Welcome back to Collider Ball Talk. All right. So now we're gonna get into um, a couple other topics. Our main topic, of course. But before we do that, yeah. What do you got? Big shows got coming, up, coming up, kids. Uh, just got? announced them on Twitter this morning. I'm going to Dragon Con in Atlanta. Woo-hoo! I'm gonna be there. My first Full time in circle. Dragon Con. Full circle. My first uh, stand-up performance was in Atlanta at the Uptown Comedy Club. about Katie Sackoff with the, Remember the piece? Katie Sackoff uh, Dragon Con conversation? Yeah, 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 that's what that was. I is think. she gonna be a dragon? Coaster? No, that was me. Oh, that was you. That was good, Coster. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I practiced. Really yeah. good, Coster. Yeah, I thought it was a soundbite. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be uh, there. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to Dragon Con, and I'm doing a show at Relapse Theater. A number of yeah. comics have taped specials there, and so I'm headlining my show. It's an evening with Mark Ellis, Friday night, August 31st. Uh, working on the ticket link because I want to make sure that if you use our promo code Schmoes, you get a discount. It's gonna be like 12 bucks to go, right. and uh, very excited about that. And then in Los Angeles, you know, you now see shows, and everybody's yeah. like, "Hey, well." How come you never actually do anything big in Los Angeles? Because I'm usually at the store of the factory. I'm doing a theater show. My first theater Where's headlining that? hour Whoa. in Los Angeles. Where, what theater? Los Globos Theater. Where's that? It's in uh, Silver Lake. How many, how, 
one is it seat? On Sunset Boulevard. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, very I'm gonna excited. Go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's amazing. You can get tickets at markellislive.com. Nice. There's a couple different I'll tiers you can get. And uh, it's going to be me and a lot of special guests going up. John Roca opening for you again? Well, here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. And and I'd like to get your take on this really quick yeah, yeah, because sure. you, you're a guy that knows how to do these kind of things. Because yeah. I've given Roca a fair amount of stand-up opportunities. And he's he, blown them. He's done great oh, he's done good. by yeah. all accounts. Okay. But I feel Beardo like has something to say about that, but we'll get him on I the phone in a second. I feel like yeah. I'm shortchanging some other people because there's a lot of people around here that either used to do stand up yeah. or maybe want to do stand up or want to return to stand up. So I think that we could have a spot because I want some professional comics opening for me, right. but I also want maybe to give a spot nice. that we could do some sort of maybe like a, like a competition. Contest. I like that. Like a Ooh. contest, and I then like the that. winner yeah. will get to do five minutes at the Los Globos show October 26th. Okay. It's a Friday, like 8 p.m. in Los Angeles. You can get tickets at markellislive.com. All right, Is let's... it a ball shaving contest? Not yet. Enough of the ball that could be a, That could be a part of it. Right, it could well, be like a decathlon. At the very end, or maybe the pre-show. Yeah. Okay. All right. So one of the things I wanted to bring up here. <laughs> uh, so Do you want the me. spot, or what no, are you? No, 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 no. Give me here. the mic. Oh. Uh, Mark is also uh, headlining a huge charity show that I'm putting on at the oh. main room of the Comedy Store on Sunday, September 23rd. It's okay. for the Battle Buddy Foundation. Oh, boy. It, uh, we, I'll come to that, too. We provide uh, service dogs to vets with PTSD. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, God, cool. thank God you said the 23rd. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm out of town a bulk of September, then realized I forgot I was, that you booked it. And I, and I was yeah. like, ah! Yeah, yeah. good. I'm all good. Right. I'm back. Okay, good. So those are all great shows coming up. I love the, the charity there, too. So make sure you guys check all that stuff out and go to Mark's website. But you know, so one of the shows that oh, I oh shit do here, uh, yeah what? because what retweet the pin tweet and you get an Avengers, an Avengers a copy of Avengers Infinity War everybody's here going to sign I'm going to mail this actual one so just go to my pin tweet if right. you retweet it you could be in the running to get this how are you going to pick you can pull it's a name out pull totally it. at random random yeah so retweet it do not send me pics of you shaving your balls all right yet <laughs> so we are now I had on. Um, so one of the shows that I do, I do Jetta Council, obviously Schmodown, and then One on One, which I've I really enjoyed. And I think one of the things to, again, to bring up the Afterthoughts guys, where they were mistaken, they said, "Well, I don't want uh, I don't want uh, the Cloud Alive to turn into One on One." There's going to be some interviews on here that's just going to be straight up interviews that could go like an hour. Like like we're talking about having George Takei on here, and I want to talk to him for like an hour, like straight that would on. Be, yeah. It's going to be amazing. And I, and I and so, um, but one of the shows is One on One, and I had this conversation with. Heidi Hamilton, who does um, Heidi and Frank, Frosty Heidi and Frank, mm-hmm. and I, we've been doing their show now for like five years. At Toad Hop w- was their show, and and I love Heidi. Heidi good friend of, of the show. We're good I friends of their show. So during our conversation, we talked for like an hour and a half, and we started bringing up like first crushes, right? People that like you know, uh, it was the first crush. And young love. And how it came up, and I and I brought up mine, and and then I started thinking about it. And I was like, "What a fun conversation that would be to find out," because it does tell you a lot about a if that first crush, if it's the same type of person that you were attracted to your entire life, mm-hmm. did it change from when you were younger, when you moved on, and you know, and I'm not just talking about movies for us. Like if if, if fans are 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 doing a hashtag for Clyde Alive and doing crushes out there. He thinks he's going back to some painful moments here. but <laughs> I'm going back to mine, but I'm yeah. also going back to uh, Dare I Be Like Kermit the Frog, have yeah. some tea on some other people in the room as to what their first crushes were yeah. or maybe what they did to uh, try to entice their first crush. Did it work? Like yeah, did it, did it work? Yeah. I'm curious. Like some, some people have their first crush, and it, they go after it. It delivers. They date. That happens get sometimes. get married, have children. That's right. Sometimes that happens, right? Um, so, Ellis, run. I'm going to let you lead this one. I'm going to let you lead this one. You can, you can, you can direct. Wait, there's someone at the door. <laughs> you no, fucking locked Riley right. out of the goddamn room. Uh, oh wow! Did did what moron lock the door in you, here? You I don't did not don't the slam door. the door. All right, come back in. So this is any kind of crush, like somebody in your class <laughs> or on TV. This? It's Alex. Get the fuck out of here. Who's this guy? I'm just kidding. Alex is about. Drink. I'm kidding. I just yeah. love there's a knock at the door like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah. Is that Lawrence? That's what I thought of too. Hi, Pee Wee. Uh, you guys missed the lower third from uh, Cody. The fun fact flashing uh, said the door is locked. Riley's trying to get in. That, that's <laughs> that's very yeah. awesome. Okay. Maybe we can pull that that's up the, cops. <laughs> hold on. Stop. 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 Cops. Are, that is what yep. Riley is the king of. Of I'm just like pointing out the obvious. Pointing out the obvious. Yeah. He does it all the time. It's not yeah. a lower third either. It's in the far right. It, well, oh, it was breaking news. All right. Here we here we go. Ellis. Yeah. You can direct it to anyone you want here. Okay. We're going to start the first conversation to find out whoever f- someone's first crush was. Talk a little bit about it, but we have so many people in the room. We're going to go kind of quicker, and yeah. you can ask questions about it. So okay, go I'm going to go right to Brett Sheridan because he's got the mic. Got it. Brett, you, do you remember your first crush? Was it some sort of a Nebraska corn huskette? 
Well, uh, it was Lady Aberline from Mr. Rogers. No, no, no. Who no, was, I'm serious. No, I absolutely no, actual, was in love with who her. Who was your real first crush? Come on. Did My you write her first, a family? Well, I can't yeah. give her real name. Person. Let's Why? call you're her Cheryl, name? Cheryl Dick Pants. Give her a first name. Don't give her a last name. I'm going to give her my Dick first name. Pants? No, I mean, everybody <laughs> knew. Uh, no, her, I'm not going to give her real first name. No. Oh, too, pass the mic. Are you kidding? Pass okay. the mic. I thought Pollard I was Carol. connecting this conversation. Yeah. No, listen, this is okay because it was. No, I'm just going to say because it was so known where I grew up that I was totally in love with this girl and yeah. like she totally broke my heart. That it's just I don't want to put the name out there and have any sort of buddy try to look it up and whatever. Well. Oh, what? Does she have a really unique first name? Yeah, oh, yeah. It was. Boring. She's from Nebraska. They're all real unique names. There. Yeah. Um, just pick one, Jennifer. Yeah. Je- it's boring if I don't tell her name? Yeah. yeah. I want to hear the story. Yeah. No, nope, not telling anything. Right, I'm out of here. Oh, wow. All right, then look, I'll kick it off and yeah. I'll tell mine, okay? So this is my my first crush. And incidentally, it's not my first girlfriend. It's like my first girlfriend in sixth grade. It was just like, hey, you, yeah, me, we're in the same kind of, right. all right. And and that lasted a good... What was her name? A good two... Her name was <laughs> Tiffany. Um, yeah. The uh, the it. one... <laughs> that was like my... <laughs> it was right. that easy. Yeah. It was that easy. I'm the giving one... your wireless password to yeah. your bank code, dude. Yeah. It's a girl's name. You <laughs> said it was it was the same as every girl in Nebraska. We also wouldn't have known if you gave the fake name yeah. if you didn't say it was a fake name. And yeah. because Go Brett's it, entire man. town is watching this live stream live from Dick's Bar <laughs> Last Resort, <laughs> and Brett's going to get in so much trouble There's for like, saying the name. Well, okay. I don't know if you know this, but the internet is a piece of shit. Oh no! And I, just, I, I don't want to see a bunch of comments Christian of like not. Fuck this girl and try to look it well, up. You knew that that was the topic of the show. But you knew it was the topic of the show. You saw the fucking notes. I, I, I will give the first and the last. I'm name. gonna I'm gonna agree with Brett for this reason oh, because it. there is a story about this guy, the, the, this woman on a plane. I don't know if you guys heard this. There was a woman on a plane, and they switch seats so she could sit with her husband, and the person she ended up switching seats with sat next to this young lady and they were both single and they were really hitting it off and so the couple who got to sit next together was sitting right behind him and she thought it would be funny throughout the flight to like tape and give Instagram updates because they were really hitting it off and and through the course of the five hour flight this thing just kind of caught wildfire to the point where they had the guy who was talking to the young lady on Good Morning America, and now everybody, suddenly these are America's sweethearts, except she may not feel the same way about him, right. and so her Instagram handle and info got out, right. and all these people started trolling her, being like, why don't you want to hook up with her? What's wrong you're, with that? You're giving a different... You're she giving had, a, this is not the same thing. Brett is an internet this celebrity. Is a name. This is and a name. this could be a wildfire. I'm just saying but I understand he, his reason. He could have first name of his five-year-old crush? What are we talking about? But the other about? thing is he could How many people were in your high school? Listen, you could have just <laughs> lied to us. <laughs> you could have lied to us and said Nicole. And yeah. we wouldn't have fucking known. No, that's it's what I'm Nicole, saying. It's Nicole then. Yeah. Oh, right. it is actually Nicole. Nicole. All right, right, so my first actual yeah. crush. Um, Tiffany. The way that, no, right. no, it's, Tiffany was the first girlfriend. Oh. oh. Um, Who's the crush? Sorry. And then the first crush, her name was Stephanie. Did you give it a shot? In eighth grade. Gave it a shot. Um, we we ended up uh, dating for, I think my record at the time, might still be my record, was four weeks. We okay. almost made it a month. That's good, though. So you went after the first crush, though. Uh, so you're a baller. Yes, so you and the way that we, I think that she was kind of into me. It was one of those things where, like, some friends of ours were, like, dating and it's like, well, this is the first time yeah. that maybe we all go to the movies and our parents are dropping us off or whatever, but it's like, oh, Mark and Stephanie, yeah. hey, this could be a thing. Was she, in a, she was in the same league as you? Um, or she just shoot up a little bit. Oh, it's Stephanie this, now? Yeah. It's tough. She was she's definitely more attractive than me, but here's the thing. Like, I just got that that plucky sense of humor charm. And it worked. That it at no yeah. point had been developed by the time eighth grade had rolled. I was around. a disaster. I was just a chubby kid. Yeah. And I, you know, I was like a nice guy. Yeah. And that's probably how I won her heart for the duration of the four See? weeks. First movie we ended up everybody seeing together was Philadelphia. Right. Not the right call. Goonies was big back then, so you probably Wait, did pretty how well. old were you? Uh, I was eighth in eighth grade. grade so oh, okay, 12, 13. Okay. Yeah, I was like 12. And so, but the first time that I asked her out, was my sister had yeah. gotten some, my older sister, she took me like to all these cool concerts because she was the older sister. She knew how to get tickets and stuff like that. So at William Mary Hall, we saw the headlining at Beard. If you want to cue it up, this is the first concert that I took Stephanie to. Cue up the sound. She's alive. Nothing so oh, oh, nice. So oh, Toad the Wet wow. Sprocket with Stephanie had a good time and Did was you really like, Im- shit, I'm in. impressive. Yeah. I thought I was in from the opening act yeah. because the opening act was an unknown band at the time. Uh-huh. Beardo, cue that up. This they band opened band. for Toad the Wet Sprocket. 
This is still Same bit. Still toe yeah. the woods. Wow, if they open for themselves, we got a problem. Comes. Did I just say oh, that? Oh, nice. So we, uh, we, we witnessed what? Dave Matthews be? Band for uh, for one of their very first times on stage yeah. together. Oh, that's great. And, uh, and we walked out, and everybody was, and like, Toad was good, but we all were talking about how great Dave was. Yeah. And it was, like, the first bonding thing where it's like, hey, we just experienced something not a lot of other people are going to yeah. know about right away. Um, I think it went off the rails around right after Valentine's Day. That was it. The, the pressure of yeah. commitment and getting difference. a gift. But here's and, the difference. I guarantee the majority oh. of us in here, the crush didn't work out. No. Because, like, you... You made it work. I can tell you right now, mine didn't. I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I never, gave, my, I never gave mine a first shot. Yeah, I, I would. S- I yeah. would say mine was a success. I many crushes since then. Did um, you make out? Crashed and burn. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't remember. It, we, we didn't make out. If anything, it was like a kiss. But yeah. I don't know if we actually. It's still did. eighth grade. You know, like, did she wear your hat? She did wear my hat. Yeah, no. it was. Oh, a, she it, did. It, it was a. Uh, it was right. a Washington Reds right. <laughs> Super Bowl twenty six hat. Is that us? So we got oh. some of the fun. Well, I, yeah. Well, but um, I'm gonna. I, the reason why we're gonna we have a special phone call here in a second too because is that our is that our alert? That I guess so. Yeah, to let them know we have someone on the call. Yeah. But I should then get into my story first. Then, um, so I was in it when I was in. Seventh, eighth grade. Uh, what was your name? Well, first of all, I was a disaster. Like I had the eighties mullet. Like oh. it was, I hadn't really kind of grown into anything except being awkward and you know and trying to cut jokes in class. You've right? done a great job since then. I, I, well, yeah, but I, I at least grew into like uh, <laughs> some kind of a face. Um, I was. I mean, I looked like. I mean, the, I was not one of the cool kids. Well, like, it's fu- like like you know, you've been through a lot in the last two weeks, but seeing a lot of pictures of yeah. you as a youth has been very informative for a lot of people. Well, that changed though. Like for some reason, like I, I had like that. Uh, I had like I was looking at that one picture I posted on Instagram, and I I was like you know a normal looking kid, and then something happened. It shifted in like seventh eighth grade. Didn't still looked like a kid, but like again not one of the cool kids. And uh, appropriate enough, and this I can say because it's got a, a common name. The like the cool kid in my school, obviously his name was Matt Di- Matt Dillon. Oh, Matt Dillon. His name's was Matt good, Dillon. Yeah, he wow. got he had the name already. It's a hot name. Yeah. He, and he was a good he was a good <laughs> dude. But he was like the thing is he was like that the cool kid that was nice to the nerds. He was nice to the, he was nice oh, to people. Oh, good for him. So like because there were other Love cool him. kids that were oh. that were dicks. Yeah, and were dick and would just but anyway. So he was the one that a lot of the girls liked. But my crush name was Vanessa. Right, uh, Vanessa was the one good that, name. yeah, like I remember, like she she did this fucking dance to like Point of No Return. Remember that song, Point of No Return, the uh, Kansas song. Um, what is it? Kansas song. I don't know who what sings the fucking know? thing. It, no, it's, yeah, but whatever it is, and she. Uh, well, and how long? So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm this stupid asshole long? kid thinking that I'm watching like Madonna perform here, and I'm like, look, I'm like, just for you, she danced for not you. Not just for me. That would be fucking. <laughs> otherwise, I would I would have had a good luck with the crush. It was like in front of the whole class. Oh. But like I, so that I was set, and I remember even th- through high school, like is I, I had said to myself, you know, eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go after. It. Never did. Never and went it after. Started when. Probably happened in like six or seven grades. Sixth grade. grade was the awakening, and yeah. all throughout high school, never took a well, shot. Well, no, she was she went to a different high school. Mm. But like, no, the funny thing is, I was gonna take a shot, and then I started dating my ex girlfriend, and because I didn't even know. I, well, I, I hope I it's not your current girl. girlfriend. You're married, sir. <laughs> well, yes, my current girlfriend. Um, yeah, thanks for pointing out that you guys thanks. are no longer it's like together. That, it's like that player. It's like that. What was that player where the guy said, "I would like to thank my wife and my girlfriend." You ever see that? Oh I yeah. I can't remember what it was. Some some football player or something too. It's like. It's it was, uh, Bibiani uh, after his last match. Yeah. What's that? No, I'm just trying to make it nice. Um, but Wild it's, very. Well, I can, I can, hear, I can hear RB3 yeah. laughing from the parking lot. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so it was uh, it, it, that that was something that I wanted to uh, bring up. But the funny thing is, I posted this. I went to St. Roberts, was the name of my my school, and it was like it, it really, I think, shaped my comedy career. Like, because that's where that's yeah. where I started to build heartbreak and yearning is like, oh, I got to yeah. make these people laugh, or it's never gonna work. It, yeah, it was the only thing I had, yeah. and I actually posted that we we're gonna be doing this thing, and a lot of the St. Roberts people were like, oh, we're gonna listen and do this too. And someone again, you talk about people who reached out, like uh, uh, like yourself, who was who was there. St. Roberts, my, shout out to Sister Mary Catherine. Woo! That was not too far off. Sister Mary Ann, she was. I mean, she was she was something. I had a Sister um, Virginia. Smoke show. Oh. Sis, no, Sister Mary Ann. Sister Marie I, Antoinette. I, Sister Mary Ann could have fought Tyson in 86 and probably won, I'll tell you that. Um, oh my God, the Jews are so confused right now. What is this? What? <laughs> These are nuns. Every These nun had, was Sister Mary something. Sister Mary something. You've seen the, uh, the ads for the nun? It's like that except scary. Oh, scary. Right, right. Now so, I get it. But one of the people who reached out to me, there were two people, uh, not two, there were a couple of people who reached out from St. Roberts, but two in particular, my friend Nicole, 
who reached out and was just during my time the last couple of weeks and my friend Samantha. And Samantha, who has been Samantha was one of the cool kids, by the way. Samantha, my friend Victor. She was friends with Matt Dillon. She you're definitely friends with Matt Dillon, and I think and she was and my friend Victor had like a huge crush on Samantha. Oh, uh, and it was like remember it was me, Victor, and my buddy Brian Cashia. I I like we, we were Brian just like, Cashman went to Cash you? Cashia Cashia <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't be sitting here with you mutts if I, uh, if I went to school with Brian Cashman. But it was, it was, um, it was, we, we would be the, you know, the three nerdy kids were like, who our crushes were. And it was, mine was Vanessa, Brian's was Tina, and Victor's was Samantha. Damn, so Tina. I was, t- yeah, right? I was talking to, and I talked to Samantha. I said, listen, if we Damn. talk about, because you talk about having a window into someone, what's going on, and someone, I said, right. let the crew ask someone who was there during the nerdy things if I was exaggerating or how the, how the young Harloff was. So joining us. On the phone is Samantha. Hello, Woo! Samantha. Oh, hi, hi, guys. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Samantha, Samantha. This, is, uh, this is truly an honor for you uh, making your debut on mm-hmm. the debut of Collider Live with such an interesting scenario here. Samantha, my first question to you, this is Mark. I'm a good friend of uh, Christian who had a big crush on Vanessa. Um, did I you ever? Vanessa. <laughs> What's that? I knew it. <laughs> you did, did you know it before? You didn't know it. Yeah. Do you know it back then? I didn't know it then. Okay. But when we had to like start guessing when he posted that he was going to have this show, we were all like trying to figure it out, and I knew it was Vanessa. Well, yeah, that, that, that was my question is like, how did you figure out? Because you knew that in retrospect that he had a crush. Are you looking back on your on your days at school and seeing, oh, now I understand why he was yeah. like that towards Vanessa? If I could remember correctly, yes. He always got really weird around her, even though he was weird anyway. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but funny weird. Yeah, it's true. They, yeah, they brought it up. You know, I, I, I think I told this story once, you know, because I kept going home sick like I, because I didn't want to oh, be at school. God. So I kept going home sick. And so what I would do when I, they, nine they told, times it was something like that. It was something, and they told me they told me that I couldn't uh, I couldn't go home anymore because they didn't believe me. So I had my buddy Victor. I told him I said, "Look, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna faint." And I said, I want you to scream out, "Holy shit, he fainted!" When I landed. <laughs> and I did, and I and I and it's like everybody brings it up to me like all the time. It was a story that I, I yeah, they that's... bring it up it because the best, it was real. It was the best day in the eight years that I was in that school. <laughs> <laughs> that story goes down in history because. Not only you guys did had a Victor get school. up and yell, he said, oh, shit, he fainted. <laughs> he fainted. Uh. And we're in a Catholic school, so we're all like, and he's just like passed out on the floor while pretending to be passed out yeah. on the floor. It was a good job. You're like and Squins we Paladino like, oh. with uh, Wendy Pepper. Did you get sent home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah was, good, I, was, I was a very proud mom. My mom knew. The second she picked me up, she's like, you're full of shit. Uh, <laughs> Makuga, do you have any questions for Samantha before Hey, we Samantha, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, first time caller, long time listener, big <laughs> fan of uh, St. Roberts. Hey, listen. <laughs> St. Robbie's the Flying Eagle. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, question for you, Samantha. On a scale of 1 to 10, how awkward was Christian Harloff in these <laughs> awkward years? Scale of 1 to 10. 1 being awkward, 10 being not awkward? No, 10 no, being the, the most awkward. Yeah. One I would being... say like 9 and a half. <laughs> oh, and a half. I told you, I wasn't lying. And how hot on a scale of 1 to 10 was this Vanessa? Are we talking like, you know, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Can't Hardly you're Wait? Talk, you're talk- very tall. Short hair, well, it's kind of long, longish, but she was very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I tell you, it's, it's, who was she with? It's Italian. Who was she with? Uh, I mean, the guy she that used I. To go, who was she with? Yeah. Like, where, she was dating Jessen. It was, was Jessen. Yeah, Jessen. Jessen was the guy. Jessen? Jessen looked like he was oh. 40 when he was 12. Oh. So hot. Yeah. Yeah. Jessen. Jessen, Jessen, is a Jessen, great Jessen, Jessen, Jessen was awesome. Jessen was a nice guy, but he was, and he still, he was really good. But he, like, Jessen looked Sounds like. Sounds like a Jewish wait, entertainment sports not, network. Samantha, Jessen? if Christian had tried it with Vanessa, would it have worked? Back then, no way. I'm sorry, you're breaking up a little if, bit, guys. If Christian had tried with Vanessa, would it have worked back then? Probably, probably not. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. She's not lying. Sorry, Christian, I love you to death, but it's, you know, it's the truth. Oh, and hell yeah, it's the truth. That's why, again, because like... Because Jessen, Jessen and Vanessa were like, you know, when you're in middle school and it's like the couple of the, Ooh, the, of the grade couple. and yeah. the years, they were the ones that everyone thought, like, oh, they're going to keep on going. Yeah, Did yeah, yeah. they? No. No, no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. Both. But yeah, again, so uh, it was, it, I, I thought, I thought if I would have went to school, because college, college I peaked. College, I picked. I thought I was gonna come back. You college. were running an illegal boxing promotion company. That's what I'm saying. I peaked. So if I would, I'm telling you, like I, I said, I said to myself when I, I'm gonna go back to Queens. I'm gonna give it. This is again in, when I was in college. I go, I'm gonna give it a shot. I never did. Uh, so, but it was yeah. like it was one of those things. You try, you 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 have a goal, and sometimes like Ellis, you go after. It, and other times you go, well, 
<laughs> well, see, that's a nice thing about being a, being a single fella now is that yeah. if I ever have those urges to be like, all right, let's get drunk, let's go on Facebook, let's see what these people are up to, uh, that my particular crush, literally off the face of the earth, no idea. No, I no social media presence whatsoever. No phone number. No right, email. Like right. you, you date Mark Ellis, you disappear. Yeah, from the world. <laughs> well, Still she ghosting. She is. Yeah, gone now. Samantha, if I can ask you one more follow up question, I want sure. I want to know more about this Matt Dillon guy because he seems cool. <laughs> you and me both, baby. I'm gonna hit him up. He had the coolest name. He had the coolest name. Yeah. And, but I also hear that you were pretty cool. So were you and Matt Dillon ever like a thing? Did you guys dance? Never. Nah. Never. Never. I don't remember who. Uh, Matt Dillon was like the all around good looking kid, nice guy to everybody. Yeah. He um, was the, the athlete. The Josh McCuga. He played every sport and he was good at every sport. Yeah. He was that guy. That was I, Matt Dillon. So, and but, then he had the name. Right. <laughs> and the story I always tell is like when the reason I live in California, right, is because I, for three weeks, uh, my, my mom was good friends with Matt's mom. And for three weeks, we stayed, Matt was in New York, but we stayed at his house in, in San Diego. And I, that's when I fell in love with California. And from that day on, I said, at one point, uh, again, I'm, I'm going back. It's all thanks to Matt Dillon. It, well, it's oh, to his family. Mrs. Dillon, yeah. Yeah, to Mrs. <laughs> Dillon. That's true. It was Mrs. Dillon. Absolutely was. But um, anybody else? I'm I sure. just, no, I just want to say something. I, you know, th th <laughs> no, this was a brutal fucking thing for me. What? And when you guys brought it up and you'd like say her name and shit, I don't want to, it's like Voldemort kind of a oh, thing. Oh, why? Yeah. No, this, just, this woman she destroyed your heart me. Out? Oh. No, she destroyed wow. me until, I mean, I didn't get a girlfriend friend until college and because her of name seventh grade. And her name was? Her name was Holly. There you Yay, go. Yay, Holly. Very nice. Um, I no, more, I mean, more I, reason I, to drop like her name. Grade, I know, right? Passed her out, <laughs> dated for two weeks. I was so shy. I wouldn't dance with yeah. her at the dance. Well, that's and then fault. she broke up with me. And it was like, it was so stupid. Right. But it ruined me. It yeah. ruined me, and I kept trying to get her, kept trying to get her high school, whatever, and never and worked again. Yeah. And then I got this piece of shit. Why did I fuck out now? No. Um, <laughs> my wife is, as you know, is a, she's, on an she's rather attractive she's and an a angel. wonderful Outkick woman. Outkick your cover. So yeah. I yeah. took her to my first of uh, my ten-year high school reunion, and the first thing she says is, where is she? <laughs> like she wanted, wanted to parade shit. around with me and just, oh, like, she wanted F some you. Shit. I got it. Yeah, so what happened? Was she at the reunion? She uh, she wasn't at the reunion. No. I don't think so. She and and, your and you're not going to have that opportunity ever because well, no, you ended up going to a different school, a well, high school. Well, first of all, I'm married. Um, no, I'm, I'm just saying that just to like <laughs> see and just just like size up the no, I talked I, no, careers no, 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 and no. stuff like that. And it's look, I I actually it's funny because um we I think we're doing like a 30 year thing for uh for St. Roberts. Right, it's crazy. Right. Um, have Eagles. you gone? Yeah. Have you gone to any of? I I, I went. No, we we did one at a at a bar about 10 years ago, and it was actually awesome. It was a lot of fun. But Samantha, I'm gonna guess yours. I think I know yours. This is the first. Oh, name. Samantha's crush. Samantha's crush. I'm oh, gonna guess it. I'm gonna guess it. And it, what's it gonna throw people? It's no, it's gonna throw people off because it's not me, Christian. Yes. Yeah. See, I Spot knew it. On. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian with a C. Yeah, it was Christian with a C. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. He yeah. Was, he, was, he was a cool cat too. <laughs> he, he was the. He, yeah, yeah. There you go, cops. Are, cops are Samantha, up. did it ever pan out with you and Christian? What was yeah, the situation? Yeah, we had, well, you know, back then things lasted what like weeks or like days. Mm, yeah. You know, and I remember, I remember one of the biggest things. I played basketball. I was that was that was my like life. I loved. That's basketball right. and, I was the choir. and he was like look he was like look if you score over 20 points in this in this game i'm gonna ask you out and i was like i'm gonna score wow. <laughs> like, I'm gonna See? score. literally and i think she i scored like Kobe, 30 something though. points yeah. i scored I mean, like 30 something points that game yeah. meanwhile i'm and trying I remember to remember him asking me out in front of everybody and yeah, meanwhile i'm trying to compare with brian cash who's got the loudest farts <laughs> in the fucking seventh grade <laughs> yeah it's perfect. christian's modeling his hairstyle after rad and he's trying to buy a dirt yeah. bike and <laughs> samantha's actually out there dropping doing it dropping points like she's the mailman yeah all right i wish trying to drop three so that he would ask me out what was the song <laughs> what was the big song samantha like like, like during y'all's high school years when you went to a high school dance and they, they play that certain slow song what's the slow song that's like oh this is the song that comes on when i'm uh, when i'm dancing with the person i really care about the most oh my god i can't even remember a moment like this jeez yeah who knows it was all guns and roses <laughs> back then Patience. And Patience. Bon Jovi. Yeah, it was probably Patience. Oh, or... Bon Jovi, uh, Never Say Goodbye. Great yeah. prom yeah. theme. The two... Actually, wow. you know what? You nailed it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Was Journey. Was it was. Was definitely, yeah. Almost as cool as Kelly Clarkson. What right. Journey yeah. song? Faithfully? Yeah. Or Open See, Arms? I like, yeah, I like, jump, I like the... getting into DeLorean. I like going back in time here. And Samantha, it was a, it was a pleasure having you on the show. 
Um, oh, thank you guys. Thanks wanna, for having me. I want to do it again because Samantha, Samantha's pretty awesome on the mic. I, I want to fly <laughs> Samantha out here. We'll play some one on one. She can, she can also coach your uh, your daughter as I am. She could, yeah. Actually, I was really happy to hear that she could dribble without uh, looking down at the ball. So oh, that's kids the first got step. skills. She's going to be dropping 30 points yeah. to impress boys in no time. Awesome. Well, Ooh, Sam. Christian uh, loves to hear that. And, uh, well, well uh, I'll hear it when I have to. Hey, Mr. Harloff, my name's Jessen. I'm here to pick up your daughter. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin could lift cars when he was 11. All right, guys. So, uh, again, Samantha, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. All right. We'll talk. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure. Go oh, Flying Eagles! Bye. Uh, yeah. She Bye. sounded great um, yeah. faintly in oh, you can, it's right. You can headset. hear it. So, yes, yeah, so Samantha was great. Uh, Riley, real quick before we bounce to the uh, next topic here, what's the uh, first name of your crush? First oh, yeah, name Kim. Oh, yeah, too. What? Yeah, first name Kim, my first crush. Kim. Fourth grade, she was the new the... student. She came in, yeah. and it was that thing. You know, she walks in, and I realized I was attracted to women. I oh, was like, that's good. oh, my God, that was it. She yeah. had the halo around her. And Do you have a deliver on it? Uh, no. Yeah, we, oh, we ended up dating. Okay. We ended up, she was my first girlfriend. Boy. Fourth yeah. grade, my, for, my first kiss, which was Fourth terrifying. Great, wow. That's yeah. Everybody else wow. out there, again, hashtag Clara Live, first crush, did it work out, did it not rock? Roxy, first crush? Oh, my God, Nick. Yeah, did it work? Oh. Break your heart? No, he broke my heart. Oh. I, I invited him over to my house, and he was allergic to cats. It was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meme of that. It was real bad. Oh, we were in I mean. kindergarten. Oh, you guys wow. had late first crushes. Rough. I was in love Good for with you. Nick. Holy shit, he was hot. There's no, now, you, how about you? What did you yeah, deliver? I mean, uh, cl clearly, I was a very precocious child when yes. it came to <laughs> having a crush. I was, it was Mine was first grade. Her name was Whitney Brown. Uh, I tr I a Whitney oh, Brown, name. the uh, popular writer. Sure, a. Whitney. Whitney. Brown. Uh, she yeah. too late now. She's amazing. We've stayed. Yeah. I actually just got invited to her wedding. Oh, okay. I can't go, but or couldn't go. It was in November of last year. Um, Can I go as you? Yeah, you and could. see if she figures it out. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, uh, Whitney. Hey, it's I lost me. a lot of weight. My face is different. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved my balls, Whitney. <laughs> That's yeah. how she'll know. Yeah. Whitney Brown all the way through. Uh, we dated in fourth grade, and then fifth grade, she broke up with me and oh. held hands with Brandon no. Kaler at no. the Man, ice, uh, roller skating social. This guy's going for full names. Oh. You couldn't even yeah. give a first name. Brandon. And then, uh, oh, boy. And then, you know, through high school, we became, we were we still stayed good friends. There are pictures of us yeah. as, as youngsters where she won't even get near to me because she was scared of me because I had such a big crush on her. Ah. And then, you know, it was it was definitely we stayed friends, I mean, to this day. She's yeah. an amazing girl. Right. Hysterical. What yeah. about overall with, just, just name real quick around the mic here first celebrity crush mine was Alyssa Milano you can you don't remember your first celebrity crush I, there's been many <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> I mean that's still going on yeah um, right, we'll go around the side uh, more, yeah, more of a character it was uh, Sean Hunter on um, uh, World. yeah well, oh my well, god he oh, was like okay. the bad boy and he was so cute and he uh -huh. had that like flowy hair mm. yeah Cooks. oh uh, 100% Jennifer Love Hewitt Jennifer Love Hewitt yeah, yeah Trojan Wars yeah, yeah. yeah. Riley yeah. Uh, Carrie Fisher, Empire Carrie Strikes Back. Fisher. Yeah, right. big and time. I fell in love. Can you give the first name? I wasn't, I wasn't joking. Lady Aberline from oh, okay. Okay. Mr. Rogers. All right, she, all right. No, she was a wonderful woman. Okay. I got to go. Uh, first, like, celebrity really crush yeah. situation, probably Cindy Crawford. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a great one. It's a great one. Pepsi commercials. She's still one of the hottest women on the planet. Smoke job. Uh, fantastic. Un that, Did you that, say smoke job? Smoke show. I like smoke, smoke job. What does smoke Randy job. Gerber do? Who cares? He made he, my life visible he, he, for six years. Yeah, he did what he, he did what he had he's to do. He's got the tequila. Yeah. He rides bikes with George Clooney. Yeah. Married to Cindy Crawford. He did not what a he bad had, gig. He did what he had to I've, do. I've told you. I mean, I worked at a Randy Gerber bar for six oh, years. Oh, was he not LA. a nice guy? Uh, he's fine. Oh, okay. um, and Cindy, Clooney came in one time. Clooney right? came in a bunch of times. Clooney's amazing. Uh, Cindy Crawford, on the other hand, uh, I was scared to death of, mostly because, again, youngster, super big crush on her, and she liked to drink Cosmopolitans. And the first time she came into the bar, when you get trained at a bartender, these things, you got to learn how to make a Cosmopolitan perfect how Cindy likes it, right? Yeah. So <laughs> she sits down. I'm the only bartender working. I, I like, shakily pass the martini <laughs> to her. And she was like, are you okay? And I was like, i got to be honest with you. I'm really nervous you're not going to like this. And she tastes like, it's perfect. And I was like, oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, it's, Confetti it's, it's comes down yeah. in like yeah. a banner, and yeah. Charles has Dutton clapping in the corner. Yeah. Riley, can you uh, hop on Twitter there and see uh, some of these names that we uh, that we got for uh, crushes there from yeah. the fans? Hashtag uh, Collider Live there, and then we're gonna move on because I I wanted to bring up something <coughs> that was it's, it's on the screen right now. So I was watching my wife and I started watching um, your wife Vanessa. 
No, my wife, my, my wonderful wife Sadie, is like, so Vanessa, huh? I guarantee I'm going to get a Vanessa talk tonight from my, from my wife when I get home. Um, we got into your history a little bit last night at dinner. Yeah, I mean, Afterwards, so, well, that was like I your said. Your mother-in-law chimed in. McCoog and I are very similar in the fact that I did not think that a I ever wanted to get married yeah. or that I ever was going to get married. Yeah, and look I what found, happened to I, you both. I found the right woman because, yeah. like, again, because when you turn, when you're that awkward kid, right, yeah. at 12 or 13 years old, and you do have your crushes on your Vanessas, or whatever, too, and they don't work out, you go fuck this. I'm going to make it work, and. I once I got myself into college, that's when I started to thrive. Once I got myself into stand up comedy, did okay for myself. And I said, you know what? I don't want to get married. I don't want a long term relationship. Yeah. And then I found my wife and I decided I want her. I think I just, it also helps that both of you guys have two of the hottest wives I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. So, yeah. you know, that you doesn't hurt the situation. It's just, uh, even the dating that's thing, right. it just yeah. seems like so much. It's, well, that's a, th that's you a point. You did it! I, uh, yeah, yeah. I although your wife can get information out of me that not a lot of the oh, people do because we start my talking to work for the CIA. Night. She got out of yeah. me that, that a dating app is uh you know is it works. I, I haven't utilized it yet, but it's, but, but it's out there. I made the cut for an exclusive service. I see. So. Well, look, yeah, my well. Hey, okay. no, that's that's a don't blog clap worthy. until he goes. Nah, not until he goes out on a date. All right, all right. Um, How about I just put a profile pic up? That should be because it's not going to be you. It's gonna it's gonna be uh, Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> no, it's gonna like, be it's gonna be all dog pics. Yeah, right. Uh, better than uh, something. Don't else. post your balls. Yeah, um, not on Don't the first. Not that. on the first one. <laughs> so anyway, my wife and I are watching. Uh, she wanted to go in this kick on like now '90s movies, right? So we're going through. We, we we're going through. Um, I think it was HBO on demand. And uh, thank you for the password. And we are. Um, and and we had watched Die Hard. The first one, actually, uh, yeah, which is not 90s, late 80s, but they had sent it to me. I, I'd watch it, and I, she didn't remember watching it. 30th had to, like, anniversary? Yeah, yeah, I had to like convince her to watch the first one because she doesn't even remember watching it, and she loved it, right? So then then we, were, we had stumbled across the second one again. And, uh, see, then the third one. Third, With a vengeance. Like, gonna, Makuga and I are going to get into it here because I like the third one. I think the third one's a really good movie. I think Die Hard 2 is better as a Die Hard movie. I know. I know, it's, I know it is a very controversial opinion. I know it is something that people... Because I was watching... and I, 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 The first half of the Die Hard with a Vengeance, I know that movie so well, and I remember it so well. And I watched this, the whole movie. I didn't remember a lot of the second half. And I'm like, that's because the second half of the movie falls apart. Like, Simon Gruber goes out like a bitch. Falls he, apart is a very he, strong if, Dude, it falls apart. Phrase. It's like they don't, they didn't know what to do at the end of that movie. Like, it's really clever and fun, and you get into the history of what McLean is going through and all this stuff. It's really, really good. And by the time you get to that last act on the boat and, like, with the go, oh, yeah, he's going to steal the go from his people. And then there's that one giant German dude who's such a cartoon. And then it's like, well, I'm going to take out McLean once and for all. He gets, he gets inside of the, the, the helicopter, and then McLean goes, say hello to your brother for me. It's not a great ending. Um, I'm sorry. It, it, you know that why? movie does yeah. have why? a great ending. Because the, the script was actually Simon Says, and they made it into a Die Hard right. script. Right. So they, they basically changed the ending to fit the Die Hard universe. But our buddy but uh, uh, Chris Duckman's one that turned me on to this. You can watch the alternate ending of Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh. I don't know if it's on, on its blue right now, but it's on YouTube. Yeah. Have you seen the alternate ending? No. It is fantastic. What is it? What it's else? Bring it up. Bring it up. McLean goes to... It, it, it's like eight minutes. McLean well, just, just bring up the, goes just bring it up. to... Um, Goes to like 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 Simon gets away, oh, and then McClain finds out where he is, and he goes and he confronts him, and they have this back and forth, yeah, this like conversation. It's just bring everything I back. See. It is I so see. good. Okay, it's awesome. Oh, I see it. Yeah, okay. that that's that's the ending you got to glom onto. All right, but I also I, I'm not sure Why that they I change can, it. I, I'm not sure I can say I agree with you, yeah. but I am on the train that Die Hard Two is a great action movie. It's a great and Die that Hard is movie. Bruce Willis great... in his absolute apex. It's a better Die Hard movie, and I still think that Die You're Hard with a Ven... mm. listen. I still think Die Hard with a Vengeance is a good action movie, and I see it's far superior. Like the, the fourth one, still, I don't care if there's a director's cut. It was released as PG-13. It's a disgrace. The and the fifth one sucks. Um, but the the third movie, the third movie is a, is a great movie. It is. It's a great movie, and I just still and I think that the the chemistry with Sam Jackson, Bruce Willis is, is fantastic. And the reveal that uh, who uh, th this guy Simon Peter actually is yeah, yeah, is one yeah. of my favorite moments in 
any that's action the first movie, half of the movie. But you're getting into a little bit of like, a, is it a film? Is it a movie? When you no, say it's I'm a better Die Hard movie, because I think that Die Hard, to me, the concept of Die Hard was always John McClane. Try you can turn this off. Now. It's a guy. John, by, it's a guy by himself. John McClane trapped by himself has to figure it out. Has outside assistance here and there, and it's okay that in Die Hard: Avengers he didn't, but it felt a little more like a lethal but weapon. By the movie. time you get to the third movie, that you need, make, he needs a teammate. That's fine, but that doesn't take me out of the movie. It doesn't make the, the ending of the movie. The, I'm I'm curious to watch the ending here because the ending it's abrupt and then it's like oh I left Holly on hold and I got to call Holly. It's a little weird. It's weird. Eh, it's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. You understand some of these points? I can tell no, you. No, face. no, no, no. Listen, here the only reason I don't like Die Hard two as much as Die Hard with a Vengeance. And by the by, Die Hard the Die Hard trilogy I don't acknowledge the other two just yeah. like I don't acknowledge uh, Crystal Skull. Um, Rocky Five. Sure. I, I like Rocky Five. I know I'm gonna. Rocky Five's uh, a better movie if it ends in the ring. Sorry. Go True. Ahead. Agreed. Yeah. Not in the street and yeah. punching George yeah. Washington Duke. Yeah. But Die Hard Two, the only for the, is because it's on Christmas again. He's in an airport again. So what? Like it? That's it's just too convenient. I love Die Hard with How the. How does Avengers the same thing because, happen? The same guy. Come on. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point. I know. I, I get it. But I will say, as far as endings go, I don't think you need to see him, Willem Sadler's ass. But in Die that. Hard Two. When he lights yep. the, the trail yep. of gasoline, awesome. it's one of the greatest endings of an action movie ever. And then he says, yippee ki motherfucker. And then it's like, okay, good. Uh, yeah. Not yeah. according Sound to man. the TNT version. According yeah. to the TNT version, he says, yippee ki Mr. Falcon. <laughs> oh, nice. It's one, of the, it's one of the most notorious bad <laughs> overdubs. Oh, oh, my God. The There's no one. Mr. Falcon in the movie. The Mr. Show dub just... when he did Motherfather. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. <laughs> what the should best. it have been? What should they do? ki motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, no, uh, you can't do that on TNT, though. No. Uh, what do you got? Uh, Riley's got, you got some truck? stuff? I'll, I'll get, get back, back to you. Who do we have? Fuck. You, have, you have a phone call? Yeah, so say say who's on right now. Hey, who? we have a phone call right now. Who do we got? Hey, guys. Uh, Frank here. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. <laughs> I am loving all these hot takes uh, about Die Hard. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you could keep it down a little bit. Because <laughs> uh, I'm trying to work over here. Absolutely not, Frank. For those who so, don't know, Frank works right next yeah, door. Frank is, so Frank is right next door. We just knocked on his, on his door. He's in the editing suite. He was so excited to hear that Collider Live is coming right next door and be his neighbor. But I asked him, though, Frank, are you still on the phone? Yeah, I'm loving the energy. All right, so Frank, let me uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question, Frank. So you only have one choice. You only have one choice. You you, you can't. There, there's not a neither. It's either you get Collider live three times a week, or you get Collider body slam with Ryan Satin and John Roca once a week. Collider what do life, you take? I would rather have Collider live. Instead of Ryan whispering on the other side of the room, <laughs> Ryan once Satin, a week. Ryan Satin, who is a an absolutely great dude, um, is the loudest individual that you've ever met, and he's louder than than Ellis. And Ellis is a very loud. When Ellis whispers, he shouts. This Ryan's guy's, a very good broadcaster. He's a great really broadcaster. Enjoy but, it. but he's his show is great. Very um, vocal, and yeah. he just he's a, he's a yeller. He yeah. yells when he talks. So, um, but I anyway, would, Frank, Frank, good to have Frank. I, oh, I'm, Frank. I am the number one Frank fan. I am in the Frank. Frank's great. I mean, I couldn't be a bigger supporter yeah. of the Frank fan. Club. Who does Afterthoughts like better, Brett or or Frank? That's a question. Ooh. Uh, if we could give Brett the mic real yeah, quick, sure. I, because because Brett's been out of the loop for a little bit here, uh, and Frank is is like the new kid on the block. Right. Frank is like the flavor of the month when it comes to, to Ryan and right, Jay. Right. So He's... Brett, if there's something that you could say to Ryan and Jay to get them back on Team Brett over Team Frank, just say how hello. would you sell it? Oh, please love me. Yeah, they that's, got that's you. Got it. I mean. You don't that have to. Works. They love you. Yeah, um, yeah. You beg women and men to love yeah. you. Well, when it happens. well, Frank, we're gonna be. Uh, we're definitely gonna be having some more um, <laughs> conversations with you. So we'll make sure when, when we know that you're right in the midst of a very uh, heated project, something you're working on hard. We'll make sure that we send Brett in with a microphone to disturb you. <laughs> so there you I go. appreciate you it. Got Looking it. forward to this, you guys. Thank Thanks, you, Frank. Frank. All right. So Frank is there. Die Hard is. Uh, do you have any comments out there, Riley, about how many people think I'm crazy? Uh, uh, no. I no? don't know. I haven't looked uh, for so that much. particular topic. Okay. I was just with the crushes still. Oh, and what, what's going on with the crushes? A uh, lot, lot of uh, celebrity first crushes. Yeah, like My favorite is Eddie Ruiz, uh, P Punky Brewster. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. So that's, that's a good one, was, right? She was yeah. hot. Uh, but then, you know, you have your usual suspects. Yeah. Uh, you know, Carrie Fisher was right. mentioned quite a bit. Harrison Ford from The Fugitive, Oxford, yeah. not Brugge. Uh, yeah. uh, wow. Let's see. Uh, Nev Campbell from Scream 3. Yeah. Scream 3? Scream 3. Why, why yeah. not one? I don't know. Oh, why? Why? I don't know. Maybe it was, wow. uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, then we have, uh, I saw Hayden Panettiere from uh, Oh, yeah, Heroes. Heroes, yeah. Heroes, yeah. Okay. Do you know that she, you know she married or she was dating Vladimir Klitschko? Very 
married him, right? Mar- she, yeah, they're like she's together. She's like five one. He's like six eleven. Yeah, that is crazy. I don't know how that works. Like Perfect s- height. Can you like carry her around? She is tiny. I punked her. Oh, did you? Yeah. What? At how? A tanning salon. Oh, I didn't see she that. She was one. dating one of the kids from the Real OC. Okay. So I don't even know if she was like. <laughs> If she was like the the, I, I think she was the accomplice with me. Oh really? I think we were getting the kid from the real. How do you not remember that? Yeah, I, you Wait. don't care. I, I really don't know. You punked her? Yeah, yeah. he was on Punked. Remember yeah. that show Punked? Yeah, yeah the Ellis. Picture show? Yeah. Ellis was one of the guys yeah. on remember, Punked. Remember uh, uh, Martin Lewis used to host it yeah. back in the sixties. He got he got he got, <laughs> he got thrown in a pool by. Am I uh, getting punked? No, no, no. Who was it? Who was the one that Michael? Michael, Sh- uh, Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen threw had you in no a pool. idea who the hell that guy was either. Yeah. And then ten years right later, I, I watched Frost Nixon. and I'm like, yeah. this guy looks so familiar. Threw you right in a pool. Th- threw yeah. me right in a pool. Um, Roxy, how many Die Hard movies have you seen? All of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but not for some time. Are now. you? Wh- wh- how do you rank them? I don't know. You got to go back I, and yeah, I'd have to go back. Yeah. I thought that I thought it was one, three, two. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, you don't even talk about general that. General consensus, yeah. but I can't but remember who it was. I'm not sure now because now I don't know if it holds up for me. I'd have to you go gotta back, go back maybe, and watch. Maybe two's better. You got to go see. It's see the thing is two can I can definitely get it. Chime in, guys. All over, hashtag Collider Live on Twitter. Riley will go through, and it's okay if you if you think I'm bananas for feeling that way. I just I just I just watched it, so it's kind of a fresh take. I think it's, if I was going to rank them, I'd rank it one, two, and three. Those those are my favorite. Now it's, I think the, I I think that they're about tied. It's definitely Rennie Harlan's best movie. Yes, um, easily. No, Cutthroat Tom Island. Tom came back for uh, Die Hard Kid. with a Vengeance, but there's so many iconic moments in Die Hard with a Vengeance. There is the elevator scene. Oh, there's great the movie. reveal. Great. There's great. the opening. Yeah. There's it's the just... bombs themselves. They're made of that that dual liquid. Right. Everything you guys are talking, I'm agreeing with. Like yeah. again, no guts, no core. It's that. It's no that. Guts, no yeah, I think that you mentioned it. I think what you said before. You put the ending of Die Hard two against the ending of Die Hard three. I think Die Hard two wins. No, I don't. I don't disagree with that. And, and I will say, no question. Yeah. Even in the roast of Bruce Willis when he said Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, he I know he's it's his movie, but he's wrong because it's a Christmas movie, and so yeah. is Die Hard two. Yep. Right. Uh, and you can watch them during holiday season, and they will totally make your holiday season that much better. I probably watch one of them once a day during right. the holiday season, right. or at least when it's on. Crazy exactly. to watch how much shit you could get away with at airports in, yeah. uh, in yeah. 1990. And here's the, here's the one thing about Die Hard 2 that we're all forgetting, is that Dennis Franz is in that movie. Oh, yeah, he is. And, and his brother, too. And he's and, also and, brother. and action movie veteran always lends an authoritarian veteran presence. He's a leader. He's a congressman. Fred S. Yeah. Thompson. Yes. Rest Fantastic. in peace. Fantastic. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. Um, all right, Riley, what do we got so far? Collider Live there. You're going uh, through I mean, this. Everybody's going wild on the on the uh, the crushes. So I haven't okay. seen oh. much. But uh, I the love best, it. They're on the crushes. Best bad d- dude I've ever, or bad, bad dub dude. I've ever heard. Snakes on a Plane, Sam Jackson's iconic. Like, that's not about Die Hard. Yeah. I saw, I saw yeah, Sam Jackson. Kind of a die so. hard with I, like, I, I like how Riley's just like, he just thinks something and it just pops out of his mouth. Yeah, no, but I think yeah. that's important for the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> drink that hot on sauce. On the real OC or. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting theory, Christian Arloff, defining a Die Hard movie by a closed-in action movie. I'd give Die Hard to the edge. Yeah, I prefer three because it's less Die Hard. Yeah, I mean that's and that's fine. I mean again, yeah. again, good movie, shitty ending. Um, okay, so moving on to how much time we got? Watch Rob? the YouTube clip. Uh, we got about five minutes until our next uh, kind of thing that we wanted to uh, we introduce. To, we wanted to end that end with yeah, that one second. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. But um, before you know, going, jumping back to TV. So there's a couple things I watched on television yesterday. So I want to talk to the TV experts. And I know one of the shows you don't watch. I don't know if you watch it. What do you got? Um, the Affair. You guys, I watch it. I know you watched season one, right? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. I've heard some pretty good things, I though. I love season one. I like season two a lot. Season three is gaffish. And season four is it, delivered. Are we currently in season? We're in, four? We just finished four. We got one more season, five total. I don't know the word you just said. Garbage. Oh, it's I straight hot fire. Garbage. garbage. I garbage. understand. I was like, ooh, uneducated. I'm, a, I'm about garbage. halfway through season two. So if you say season three is garbage, do I just skip it or do I need? Nah, to you got it. You got to You got to go fire through it because it it does it does lend some. Uh, I have a feeling I'll like it. I don't know. It's pretty stupid. I have a feeling I'll like it. I, I just I'm getting into the soap opera thing with the show. Yeah, anyway. Well, wh- one, you finished first season. Finished first. I'm first season is the best. Two. Halfway through two. You've watched first season with with the lady. I I've you tried get to get into to the affair like ten separate times. Yeah. When it first came on, I was like, all right, listen, I love McNulty, obviously from The Wire. He's, He's great best, in the show, right? He's and best. I love the girl from Luther. Yep. Uh, who plays the redhead? Who's awesome? The Ruth. Uh, uh, and then J- Joshua Ruth Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Joshua Jackson, obviously Pacey. Yeah. Uh, he deli- He come. He comes to play, man. Once like season two hits, 
I just want, I've I've watched six episodes of the show. Yeah. I've always had the rule: if I'm not hooked by three, I'm out. You're out. Try to try the try the end huh. of the season. I just mine six. I'm a six rule. Six, huh? I got to six, and I was like, yeah, yeah it was done. Still right, watching the show, fair. I just couldn't get does into it. it. Does but it help that Brendan Fraser shows up? Well, Brendan well, Fraser really? was in Condor, and he was fantastic. That'll help me. Condor he's in the season I don't like, but he's still in it. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. then I'm definitely watching yeah, you season finish. three. I she think finish. that's the one actor. If we're looking at yeah. in, like history yeah. of where did he go and why, I'm still confused because I loved and still love anything Brendan yeah. Fraser's well, ever done. I read a whole thing. Encino he Man did, well, was he, great. He did yes. that incredible. I think it was School a GQ. Ties. Was it Riley? Look at this up. I think it's a GQ article that Brendan Fraser did. It's like this long interview, and it's really heartbreaking as far as like what happened to him. He had a thing with his ex-wife I think that was mm. was big. Um, that he was got, it, it was a sexual harassment that, that not he... A, not on him. He he was the one he, that... He was the, the victim. Yes, he was the victim. That, yeah. that's the, but that, that's not what... Th- that's like the question. Yeah, that, th- this article, yeah. this article yeah. here, this, this article, this GQ article of what happened to Brendan Fraser, read this, man. It really is an insight into this dude, mm-hmm. and it goes into you want to find out you you have all these questions, McCoo, as far as where he went. This breaks it down. He's and coming back. He's got that he TV is. show now that uh, the one on FX about the. It's like I the better that's version. What, of... I think that that's what this was in, in gearing that's up right. until. Right. I think it was gearing up to that show. So, but anyway, uh, the affair is a show that I am watching right now. I did watch Glow. The other television show I watched that none of you in here have watched. I watched Ronda Rousey last night on SummerSlam. Uh, See, so shake your head on it. But here's the thing: Don't you think though? You I understand, but you Boo. say it's fake. He's yeah. booing. Yeah. Cobster. Stop your booing. What is wrong? What is, see, the thing is... How what, did Ronda Rousey do in the athletic event that was already set up for how it was going to end? Not, <laughs> but he, so so it, the affair was also set up knowing how it was going to end. You know that, right? It was That's written. It's not a sport. It's written, dude. It just has... It's, it's a written show. It's a written show. I'm 100% with you that's on what this it, one. That's the whole... You, yeah. yeah, you know. You see, yeah. Roxy's a wrestling. She knows. She I, knows. I'm not a massive fan, but, but I it. dabble. And, right. and yeah, I think it's fucking amazing what yeah, they do. I can't is. do that shit. That's the whole point. It is a... It, have you been Have you been to an event? Three times. Really? Growing up. No, no, no. When was the last time you went to a wrestling event? No, like Monday Night Raw in the year 2000. Yeah, see, I see. Th- that's a f- that's a fake feint of I don't really care. I f- I can t- like him never he's in Pittsburgh. We're free tickets. I'm just saying he's he's 2000. never yeah. He he his mind is this one. Th- it's the same thing. Like never gonna eat a tomato. Never gonna go and and, and, and never gonna. I'm not gonna watch. eat it like a hand fruit like but George ever. Costanza but, would say. But again, it's like it's just, you're not gonna you're not gonna dabble in Thousand Island dressing is what I'm saying. It's not n- not ever again. You? Not after I saw it made. Yeah, to Makuga though. I you can see Makuga having fun in a wrestling event. There's no, there's no I, doubt. I could have fun there's because no I like I like loud rock music and yeah. cold beer. Here's my biggest problem with wrestling, to be perfectly honest with yeah. you now, is that I wouldn't mind going to one of these events, but it just seems like a lot of the hard rock they're playing is like more the, the, the Nickelbacky, the, the that kind of stuff. Like, I want... I, I want to hear the greatest rock bands of all. Well, you're not going. You're not going to see Hogan fight, or you know those guys. What do you want to see? You want to see old school. Well, guys Hogan used fight? to come out to Hendrix. Oh, I, I'm oh, talking I about the music. Saying. I'm yeah. talking. Oh, I want to. Yeah. See. See. Hey, give him. Take the mic. Take the mic. And, and whisper. Whisper, please. <laughs> Ryan sat and just heard us talking wrestling. And how come you guys are cool with watching every dumb movie, but you guys can't watch? Because there's or tone. That there's atmosphere. There's a TV show that, that people wrestling. watch. The, the the acting is. There is tone. Seems Cosmo. to be better. Yeah. Um, and yeah, these the are stories show. that I'm paying a ticket to go see that transport me to another time and place. Whereas when I'm watching wrestling, it's like watching. I, I would consider like like wrestling as far as the storyline goes. It's like a B action movie. Where if I'm seeing people fight in a ring, I want to see them actually fight. We're so close to actually fighting. Like why can't you actually just fight but, instead of so just? Does Jason Statham actually fight the Rock when they fight at Fast and Furious? You watched Do the they Meg actually fight about a giant yeah, fake shark? Scary. I don't understand yeah. the and, difference. And I didn't like just, it because yeah, it, like, it didn't take itself seriously. But there's a lot of movies that you can suspend your disbelief for. What's the difference between that and suspending your disbelief? This for is a what fake I like fight? about having a wrestling guy here. Because that because the points. Well, here's the problem. No, yeah. Here's the problem: is that we're never going to win an argument with wrestling people. Wrestling is. <laughs> it's, we're not. We're what not because all it all it does does is become you guys yelling at us about what we don't like. No, no, no. And because yeah. I like sports no, that no, no, have no. an actual unscripted ending, and well, people can win. Yeah, okay? you I like, like that's not television it. shows all across the gamut yes. that have a, that have a scripted but, ending that's no different. But so I, when I watch, they're not the show pretend. Out there, you're not, but back in the eighties. Wait, real fast. I don't mind other people that like don't like wrestling. 
wrestling, that's not the big deal. I don't. Not everyone's yeah. gonna like wrestling. I don't give a fuck. But when he mentioned SummerSlam, you both literally, I'm watching out there, you both went, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Like, yeah, it's just garbage people like, watching a garbage, here's, here's garbage event. Very true. We are, yeah. we, I don't we are believe you. Just as Him, dickish I to wrestling garbage fans. I, I don't think wrestling fans are, are like harsher on us than we are on wrestling. And I will acknowledge that. And I also, I was watching a comic do a great bit about why wrestling is the best sport. Yeah. And basically, it boiled down, it boiled down I, I'll get his name and cite him next time. It's, it, it boiled down to like watching the NBA Finals. There were two teams that were playing, so you knew one of them was going to win. You know who won the last wrestling event he was talking about? He's like a team that wasn't even announced to be competing. Right, right. And it's like that's the fun, the surprises. Right. I understand all of that. It's just that if I am going to invest myself in a storyline, whether it's a TV show or a movie, I would prefer it to be something that is not taking place in a ring well, with a lot of, you, you know, uh, uh, set up in pomp and circumstance for something that's already been determined. Like I, my favorite thing about sports is the competition. So if I'm watching like an acting performance, I want to see top quality actors. Well, these are great athletes that are in the wrestling ring. So I think it sucks that they can't actually just wrestle and try to beat the shit out of each other for real. Well, it's but, like but everybody's right isn't here. A real, I mean, wrestling. It's not UFC. They're not going out there to try and hurt each other. They're going out there to try and make you think they're right. Each other. But the, but the movie Trivia League. Schmodown is a perfect example because that's sports entertainment with all the pomp and circumstance. No but script. the trivia is not scripted. That's, but that's different. So we though, don't know. But we, but you're the but com- but you don't know who's going to yeah, win. That's different. Yeah, but also at the same time, you think that every single move is scripted, but it's not. Like the, the wrestlers sit there and they discuss it behind the scenes. It's beforehand. athletic. A lot I, don't, of it I don't think it is disputing it. In the ring but the ending's that's determined. That kind of yeah, sounds okay. like a and script. Also, what's pretty cool about it is all the behind the scenes drama. Like people trying to put themselves over when they already know who's going to be winning the match. Well, that, this, is, that's this, is like... a, this is a debate that's going to go on for a while. Ryan is here all the time. Cool. We actually, I would, we'll, we'll do it. We'll bring, garbage we'll bring. Person it. In the office. Garbage <laughs> person in the office. Very true. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But but and we actually. Actually, you know what? Hold that. I, because I will never, my, my mind will never be changed. Well, I'd love to hear why. Well, yeah, the fact, I mean, but, I'm a wrestling fan. Mike, he really doesn't need I, a mic. I, 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 yeah. Hold on. Let's let's bring, we're going to hold this conversation. I don't think wrestling what, fans are garbage I don't, people. I, neither do I. I, 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 I happen to be a wrestling fan. I don't think I'm garbage. I don't think that John well, Roca is garbage. I don't think that garbage. Ryan Satin is I don't think Ryan Satin's garbage. Yeah, so. I'm not saying you as people are garbage people. I'm saying what you're inter- what you're enjoying is garbage. And thus... <laughs> Garbage people so watching you just a said, garbage That thing. made no sense whatsoever. Yes, it is. You, no, it I'm is. sure outside of wrestling, you're an amazing person. Right. And so are you. <laughs> into, and then so as soon as you turn to fucking garbage. SummerSlam, you're like, he came in sweaty and yelled and he won a belt. What's the difference? All right. we thought it was real? All right, hold on. All right, no, all right, again, you don't have a mic. So dumb. Now we're going to bring. Now, so dumb. I like the heat. We're going to bring it down and we're going to get. This is not. This, again, Spicy. this is what happens on Collider Live because the feud between Ryan Satin and Josh Pakuka has begun. He's the new Brett Sheridan. Great. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan, now the Ryan, editors have to hear about but, it every day. Yeah, but it, Ryan, I'm going to ask Ryan to come back at a later time. That but, was a great but, debut, Ryan. Yes, good debut. Thank you, sir. And so Ryan Satin can be shown pro wrestling sheet if you go on over to the YouTube channel. But do you the podcast. It's start another feud, and it's, that's it, fantastic. And that's what you do well. Because El Mayavi could kill me now. I saw him at Comic-Con. The dude can now lift the Omni Hotel. Yeah. In. Yo, he, he is. is. Are you got, Yo. yes. All Holy. right, so speaking of issues. Garbage people. Speaking of yeah, <laughs> garbage people. Um... We got we got to get a shirt already. That says just I'm a garbage person. <laughs> Can you combine that into garbage people? Garbage only took one show. For my Bostonians, who are you trying to rip on right yeah. now? Garbage. No, that, no, 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 it's my it's garbage. Uh, um, I'm right. the worst when it comes to T-shirts and bumper stickers. Like that's all I, I don't like. Like, like Christian could be like, Mark, come up with a catchphrase, put on a T-shirt, and I'm like, uh, I, I don't know, ass grass or gas. Like okay. I don't know. I I, yeah, I don't have any good ones. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna get into. Yeah, you got something, Riley? You're, you're going there. All right. So now I want you guys to do, if you're using the hashtag on Collider Live, continue it. Because now I need you guys to do something kind of quick. Because we are going to do a new segment on this show. Okay. Um, Comster They're is, all new segments. It's a new show. But this that's true. It is a brand new segment. Are new or news? New. 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 Com- or it, we're debuting a segment right off the bat here. And now Comster is someone who is very outspoken in this office. If you piss him off, he will tell you. He'll tell everybody. He'll let you know. He'll let you know. He's and he's and coming in. So he's coming in. Here he is. So Comster's going to take. A, we'll have Comster. Hi, Brett. I guess Comster just kicked Brett right out of his seat. Well, I was going to kick somebody out. All right. I didn't mean Brett. Well, that's fine. So he just danced there. For the what time. we're going to do here is yes. let's lower the phones, and we're going to do on Twitter. Just make sure we hashtag. <laughs> 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 well, no, the phone. You gotta read this tweet. It's the best tweet. What is it? Why are we reading <laughs> tweets? 
It's perfect. It's perfect, dude. I've all I've ever done on shows. I know, is but I don't want to do that anymore on this show. Uh, it's Ryan Satin said Josh yeah. McCuga is the quickest guy ever I've ever followed and unfollowed on Twitter. <laughs> 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 Wrestling people are garbage people. Oh, uh, you ready? Yeah, yeah, see, he he went went this is lighting up. We, we, yeah, we ready? Went, yeah, you guys are ready. D- Josh Medega, Medega, yeah. Josh McCuga's first day back in Collider, and he's already feuding he, with the wrestling. Uh, there, guy. there is a now a, a large contingent wanting him to be fired again. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> way to go, Josh. Welcome back. Um, so, <laughs> we are, there we go. Let's get back so, to. So let's get back to. Yeah, Josh, Josh, is, Josh is not going to be covering wrestling on TV talk. So we're going. Everybody now. lower the phones. Uh, spit out the gum. Now we're getting to <laughs> Copster. And yes. Copster will tell you. Let's and be what miserable we thought, for a second. Copster, Copster has a shit list. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Like Copster, can Cop- I pull my phone out to see the list? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. uh, Copster has a shit list. Always ask for permission. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to guess around the horn here. There's going to be three people on Copster's shit list. There's mm-hmm. three people. There's three people okay. on his shit list. Well, Are they all here? Then. They can be anyone that's on any show. Yeah, one's here. Uh, anyone, At Collider. Anyone on any show in Collider. Or Schmoes. Or, or, Schm- or yeah, No, no, just Collider. Anyone okay. on Collider shows... They can be on his shit list. Mm. So we might not, you might not hit, you get more points if you hit in what order they're in, but you got to guess the three people that's on his shit list. So think about it. Who do you think is going to be on his shit list? And then Costa will reveal. So I want the audience right now put three people, it can be any three people that are on shows. Let's say it's, uh, Corey, Andrew, Roxy, Stryer, and, uh, and and RB3. If I had known, I wouldn't have ripped on Cobster at the beginning of the show. Well, that's right. You might be you on the shit list anytime now. you want. So so let so yeah. let and then we will go through it. So Riley, uh, they're gonna make sure you check out Collider Live. We'll see who wins. I have my guesses. All right, so you're gonna. I have my guesses. Collider. All right, go ahead. You, Mark, I'm, go I'm first. Who are, your, who are your three? Who are your three? I just I, I think he the love affair between him and Frank is still very strong. Oh, yeah. I don't Ooh. think that's going. No, no, no. I think him and Adam work well. Don't do that. Just, Cody, don't do Joey. that. Just tell us so. I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> no context. No. I'm gonna go Ryan, mm. Ryan. Roca, mm. and Snyder. Ooh, wow. Ryan, Roca, and Snyder. Okay. Uh, All right. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say Bibiani. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna say Bibiani. So I'm this extends all Schmodown down Anything on Collider. Okay. Uh, I'm say Bibiani. I'm gonna say Frosty. Okay. And Ooh. I'm gonna say. say I'll say. I'll say. I'll say Roka. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Roxy. Oh, I don't fucking know. Uh, Come on, don't listen. <laughs> guess like, one. Fucking guess Brett. One. Well, if if I had to guess one, I think it would be Roka. Roka, you just <laughs> poor Roka. All right. What did he ever do? Us to Latinos just love to fight right, it so out. So give give, uh, <laughs> give uh, Brett the uh, thing. Brett, Brett, go ahead. You got to get three well, people. I know the whole everybody that works here. Yeah, what do you got? Um, uh, <laughs> I would say Makuga. Makuga, probably. Okay. It could and, be people in this room. Yeah. Uh, he said one was in this room. Oh, okay. It's oh, probably it. me. Yeah. Beardo. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> Roxy. Yeah, Roxy. I get it. Good. All right, and then Riley? Hey, you can kind of see my Do you see my list? No, I okay. didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm playing fair. Uh, okay. I'm on there. I'm going right. to be on there, okay. uh, Copster, in the number three spot. You number Riley? two okay. is, um, I'm going to say, Snyder. Riley Snyder. And uh, number one is the Schmodown in general. Schmo- the, no, the you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> you people... one person. That's cheating. Every okay, so I will say... Um, Oh, be, yeah, I'm going to say Bibiani as well, uh, representing the Schmodown okay, kind right. of thing. All right, so let's see some of the uh, tweets that are coming in from uh, Collider uh, yeah, Live. Yeah, we have did, uh, did Macuga Matthew guess? Kearns. Oh, wait, uh, Macuga's oh, yeah. going to go. Macuga's going to go. Macuga? Okay, uh, I'm looking out for you. I mean, the entire wrestling community is after me right now, yeah. so this, it's going to be great to get fake beat up soon. Um, <laughs> Yeah. If, Sat- uh, if Satin can play Schmodown, I got my next match. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't wait to fake lose in that one. Uh, um, <laughs> probably going to go. I mean, Snyder and Roka seem to be a popular pick, and then, I, you know, I'll throw on Christian and the, the, the right. cream on top. All right, here we go. All right, so okay. I have uh, Matthew Kearns here on Twitter. What's Snyder, Roka, and Ellis. Snyder, Roka, and Ellis, yeah. Which is uh, interesting. I don't, th- I don't think Ellis is never on any show. I don't think Roka, no. I don't think I, would ever get mad at Ellis. Adam, yeah. uh, Adam says Makuga, Cody. And Ellis. Cody. Uh, we have ro- another Roca, Snyder, oh. and Christian. Okay. Uh, Beardo, Roca, and oh, Ellis. Oh, Beardo's what? a good one. Ellis is Man. good. I don't understand yeah. that. Cops yeah. and I have some sort of beef, and I'm not sure where it started from. I, I'm seeing. Watch you be on his I'm list. definitely seeing a pattern okay. here. Watch, Roca watch and Watching McCoogie with that frame is like an ape fiddle and sticks. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> You're putting it's your own off. picture in. Oh, oh it's Ellis. So. Yeah. Are you oh my God, that is to drunk go. Ellis on right. that, that picture. I mean, I'm probably, I probably had a few yeah, let me cocktails. See, let, me see, let me see that. I'll sauced. show that picture here. Yeah, oh yeah. Sauce. That's a good one. Can you get that up there? Probably had show a few that. cocktails. Show, no, you're not gonna show that. 
Like some, some yeah. dirty martinis. Perfect. All right, all right. All right. All right. Are we done here? We're done. All right. So, okay. comp, sir, reveal, reveal number three. Number three. Well, I wasn't uh, I wasn't going to say his name, but yeah, Bibiani. Bibiani. Yeah, okay, yeah, that Bibiani. Was, that was number three. For right, sure. Bibiani's number three. Okay, so what were you going to do? It's, it's not a matter of, uh, you know, just him walking around where everyone's trying to work. Yeah. It's uh, a few weeks ago, him <sighs> complaining that there was no coffee anywhere. Oh, about anywhere, the coffee, right. And he right. just insisted on complaining about it everywhere. It's okay. like, dude... It's free. Yeah. Shut your mouth All right. and just answer some trivia questions. All right, so also, he, stop standing because you're making the shot look horrible. All right, so he's on your shit list. He's yes. number three. Okay, number two. Uh, number two is you. Me? me? What yeah. I do this week? <laughs> yeah. Number what two is you. Uh, this past Friday. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, you know, whenever we shoot schmodowns, we usually have pizza, right? That's mm -hmm. usually the thing. Right. We didn't have pizza last time. Oh. Now and reasons why we don't have pizza. That's totally cool. Right. But you tell us at like two o'clock. Not true. You not, you told us pretty not, pretty late in the game. Not true. I told Wendy three days ago we weren't gonna have pizza to okay, tell the well crew. Okay, well they're not now. Wendy's on Wendy's my shit, on list. shit list. Wendy's not. Someone's yeah. got to tell the production crew. I, I told Wendy three days ago we that we were food. not gonna have pizza and to yeah. tell the crew. And it's not that we didn't have pizza. It's just that the 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 line that came out was like, "You think people are gonna be mad that there's no pizza?" I'm like, "Understood. Uh, yeah, and we're and gonna when, be mad." And when I said that, I mm -hmm. thought you already knew we weren't getting pizza. Ah, see, I think a lot of assumptions. I think this is pretty much confirmation of the fact that I'm never gonna be on cops or shit list. Right. No. Because because I paid pizza? for pizza out of my own pocket did you? the last oh, two yeah. weeks. You did, but yes, I also I, I told them once it came delivered to put it in an undisclosed location. Because okay. I look at that pie is for the crew so, here. Wait, so wait a minute. The crew here. So first. Bibiani complains about not having coffee for free. Right. And I can get pizza for these fuckers for, for two years. And one time I miss and I get oh. number two on oh, no, 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 the list. No, no, no. Do you no, want no, your own shit? Well, it was recent. I needed to fill out the list. Yeah. And it also, it's not the fact that there wasn't pizza. It's just the fact that With we weren't. The way it was presented. So. All right. So, so who's number one? You can tie Who's it number with one? Uh, I'm sorry, everybody. She's always usually nice, but Perry's on my shit list. Perry's number, number one. one on the oh, shit yeah. list. This is a shot. Wow. Yeah, I'm not happy about what's, what's Perry is on the shit list. How did Perry yeah. get on the number one on the shit um, list? This is, breaking, this is breaking news. So it also has to do with Schmodown. down. All three have to do it. All right, so break. So. Yeah, break. You maybe I told you this. I said this in the test. Maybe we should just have Adam Smith do it from now on. What's that? The schmo oh, the schmo schmo no, 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 no. Oh, see, so this is this is kind of what happened. So, okay. uh, I think you did announce at the Jurassic Park match. Correct? Yes, yes. So we were supposed to shoot that last week, and it was going to be released this week, giving me enough time, plenty of time to edit, do all those things, uh, amongst the other things that I have to do here. Okay. But uh, in order for her to study a lot more, I have to be miserable and hurry up and edit this thing, and I don't like that. I don't like that mm. one bit uh, okay. because I know for a fact Cody's not really studying for this match. Right. He's seen the movies. Maybe he's watching. Well, she's a perfectionist, though. You she know that. She has to study every single detail, and I do, <laughs> do not hear, care. Did you hear Cody? What did Cody, you say? say it again. I said I was born ready. <laughs> he was born he ready. Was. And that right. kind of peeved me off a little bit. All right, bit. so she's and at number the, one on your list. The number one on my list. I'm right. sorry, Perry, but that just that really bugged me. All right, so know? the question now for you guys is any can anyone knock Perry off the list? I'm going to say yes, probably by next week. So Probably. so. Maybe by tomorrow. Perry's going to be fine. I thought it was some level of how much she played Gin Blossoms on the jukebox yeah. at JT's birthday party. Yeah. Uh, she went heavy into Gin Blossoms. I'm shocked that Perry hit, hit the number one spot. Yeah. Um, especially given the other contenders on the I know. Show. It's, I know. Pretty, it's, it's a pretty impressive yeah. climb. Are, are we starting a dangerous trend here? Like when we open up the, the, the phone lines, the trolls are like, hey, open the trolls. Like are we, if by cops or shit list, are we... Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying... Are we starting a dangerous trend here where somebody's like, oh, I really want to get on cops or shit list? They're oh, no, 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 no. They're only on, it's only people in the office. Oh, okay. It's not, it's okay. not fans. Fans can't get on the shit list. Yeah, that yeah. That was close. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, but look, what a, what a fun, what a fun show yeah. so far we yeah. had today. We found out that, uh, you know, that, that we talked all about all the crushes. We talked about Die Hard. We talked about, uh, Cops are shit list. Why Makuga is going to now not be watching? You're going to guarantee you we're going to have to make him watch a wrestling event with Ryan Savage for for a bit. Quiet over there. Don't get yourself in trouble too. Um, I'm with him on that. They're garbage people. <laughs> so I'll join you. That's a stupid thing to say. Wow. It is a really stupid thing to say. Uneducated. It is ignorance. an uneducated, ignorant thing to say. Well, ignorance is. is bliss, you know. But it's it's moronic. Don't get it. I don't want to get into it again. I, I said. What did I say? I said. Outside of wrestling, yeah. they're not garbage people. Right. While watching hold, wrestling, hold it's thought. garbage. It's hold, a garbage right. activity. It's, it, and it's moronic. It's moronic. We'll, we'll, we're going to talk about it again. We have 
we have Makuga back here tomorrow. Whether or not uh, he, him, and Brian sat and scrap after today's show, we'll figure it out. We'll film it. We'll put it on. Uh, we'll put it on Instagram. Dorian Parks, I'm sure, has had a lot of stuff to to do from this particular show. Mark Ellis will be back. When we'll figure that out. Probably soon. I'm going to look into some personal grooming options and right. uh, get everything set with the Atlanta show at Relapse Theater, and uh, see everybody later on today. Mark after my Ellis, nap. Um, you can find Josh Makuga, uh, Josh Makuga, Mark Riley at Riley Around. Check out Mark Riley's. He's got two shows. He's got the Rule of Two on the Jedi Council podcast feed. Make sure you check mm. that. Out. And Riley Roundtable. And I'll tell Riley something that I confirmed um, with everybody except him mm. that he, the Riley Roundtable has been kind of was put in the Collider Factory, and it's, there's so many shows there now that he because it is a one on one type show. Riley's show, his Riley Roundtable, will now be sh- found in the one-on-one podcast feed. As nice. Well. Who's the I better like that. interviewer? So make sure I like you, that. Make sure you check that out. If Crossover you want to go episode. subscribe to the one-on-one feed to That's get both perfect. my show and Riley's show um, and some standout interviews from, from Frosty when he talks to like Kevin Smith and some other people. Make sure you check out Copster. At, is it always Copster 15? Is that what it is? Yes, at that's correct. Copster 15. 15. Yes. Brett Sheridan, just at Brett Sheridan. Mr. Wiggly. Mr. Wiggly. Mr. Wiggly. And Roxy Stryer, Roxy Stryer. Roxy, where can the good people find you? You've got a Patreon going on Yeah, right? patreon.com slash Roxy Stryer, talking about movies and TV and uh, bloody balls and shit like that. Nice. Oh, and uh, Brett has an Amazon wish list. Oh, you still that you have that thing? Yeah, let's talk about, it, but, uh, can we talk about that? Let's talk, Riley, put, put that on, let's talk about the wish list tomorrow, for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so, All right, we got, so good, I got, I got a mic to, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll be able to talk. <laughs> so we have, we have, we have I'll my be back s- tomorrow, too. I don't know if anybody cares. M- uh, they do care. Makuga, <laughs> myself. Roxy will be back on Wednesday. Yeah. Roxy's going to be back on Wednesday. Myself, Makuga, Riley, uh, Brett, and the crew will be I'm back I'm out tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll see what I can do we for have, hump day. Don't we have Chris Weiss on tomorrow? Yes, we, uh, we have Chris, Chris Weiss, Weiss on tomorrow. Chris Weiss on tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So make sure you check that out. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. And also, I know that there's a lot of conversation on the Facebook group of Schmoville. If you go and join there, I know they've been talking a lot about Collider Live. So you want to go and check that out over there. Talking about everything going on in the world of Collider. Check out Afterthoughts with Jason Smelling, a.k.a. Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. They'll be breaking down everything that happened on this episode. Thank you to Beardo. Thank you to Copster. Thank you to Cody and Alex and RB3 and everybody who helped make the show today. Good job, buddy. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's Collider Live.